What's going on YouTube and all you drunken misfits at the Gemini Glass here, aka I'm motherfucking drunk, y'all. I just wanted to give you a little quick uh, intro here before the podcast gets started and uh, explain a couple things. First off, this podcast that you're about to watch is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, one of my favorite ones I've done so far. I did it with my good buddy, Waylon, Waylon Lorta. Uh, we talked about all kinds of random stuff. We talked about some funny stuff, some funny memories, uh, just some random questions that we had and stories that we had. A uh, few of them, like I said, a uh, little out there. You'll see what I'm talking about when you get to those. If you hadn't already seen the clips posted uh, and then that brought you here. Um, I do want to apologize, though, because there is only two hours of this podcast when it should have been three. Uh, had some technical difficulties with the camera, so the last hour of the podcast, when you're going to notice it at the end of this podcast, it kind of abruptly stops. There's a whole hour after that that we just sat, talked, and drank, and didn't get recorded because of some technical difficulties. Uh, also, he got me this awesome sticker here as a gift. Thank you again, Waylon, for that. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump on into this podcast. Enjoy. And we are live. I do appreciate you coming over and doing this. Finding somebody for this month, I had no clue who I was going to get. Thanks for having me, man. Like I said, I've been wanting to get Hollis in them, but they're, I guess, a little scared to come out and actually talk and stuff. This is a thank you, man. Oh, you got a thank you? I do got a thank you thing for you. Here you go. That's a... Uh, <laughs> wow. Dude, where the fuck did you get this made at? That's awesome. Online. I literally just Googled, like, stickers and then <laughs> had, had made it one. made. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to find a place for that right here or something like that. Or maybe up there. I think that would be a good spot right there. Up on the wall there, maybe. I don't know what the camera angle is, yeah. Does it even show that? Uh, oh, it does on some videos and some it doesn't. Yeah, it might I bet right there, there would probably be good. Because I need to decorate down there, obviously. Yeah, I tried to get your uh, your logo, but I couldn't, like, find a decent picture. Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah, so I had blurry. that custom made from uh, Sean. Yeah. Yeah, I like that, man. That's yeah, that, cool. was, that was that was cool of him. He just messaged me one day, and he's like, hey, I improved your logo. The guy you used to live with in Kermit, right? Yeah, the guy I used yeah. to live with in Kermit. Yeah. We've been to his house twice, actually, I think. That one time we played uh, uh, that NFL Blitz, I think we played at his house. Man, I can't you remember. You had steaks. We cooked steaks. Yes. Yeah. Was that when, uh, I, I like, one of the first times I drank? Yeah. Yeah, and we I tried so. that shitty yellowtail wine. Yeah, yeah. And we put a uh, perfume in Isaac's. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You don't remember playing the video games? I don't remember the game. Like, I remember. Yeah. See, I didn't remember you there. I remember Aaron and Isaac. Yeah. That was like the first time I played NFL Blitz, like the druggy one, because all our players got hurt. Oh, that was. And we were just yeah, injecting like, with like heroin or and whatever. Stuff they had. And that, like yeah. shows like the bone breaks and yeah, all that. Yeah, dude, it was awesome. That was the first time I played that game. Oh man. But no. Uh, I want to know a little bit more about your younger life, because a lot of you, well, pretty much all you guys besides Dom, I know nothing about, like, pre-high school. Um, so I came to Wink and Kermit in first grade. So you weren't, I was you born, weren't born here? Or? No, I was born in Brownwood. Uh, and then, like, as soon as I was born, we went to Georgetown. My dad was uh, a dairy, like, hand. So we lived on a dairy farm in a beat-down, broke-down trailer that was just, like, horrible. He was making, like... I don't even know, maybe like $2 an hour or something crazy. Yeah. But uh, it was fun. Me and my brothers got playing cow shit and stuff like that. But uh, <laughs> then after that, we had went to early when I was about three years old, which is right across the bridge from Brownwood. Like, it's right there. Yeah. And I did pre-K and kindergarten there. And my dad was basically the only one that worked, like, because I had three brothers, so there's four of us. So my mom took care of all of us, make sure we were alive and stuff like that. <laughs> Not killing each other. Yeah, which we tried, but she always stopped us. But, uh, uh, did that until, yeah, first grade, and then I came here. Did pre-K kindergarten there, came here in first grade, and been here ever since. I guess your dad moved down here for work or something? Yeah, he was driving uh, a dumpster truck, actually, in early, and then my uncle got him in uh, doing oil hauling, or, uh, Hot oiling. Okay. So he came over here and then he started in the oil field and. It's pretty much been here since. they have been here since, man. It changed our life though, like completely. Like when he started getting in the oil field. Oh it's, yeah, I mean, I, I bet it does a lot for a lot of people. Yeah, you know, yeah. By that. Coming from like, not much at all, mm. like to. Luckily, in the in in Georgetown, the house we lived in, uh, his name was Mr. Davidson. He was the he was the owner of all the land and the the farm itself. 
and uh, he he gave us his trailer to live in. So like all oh, that yeah. was like the reason why we even got to like survive and stuff like that. But damn, that's crazy. So I never knew that. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, a lot of people don't because I've been here since first grade. So it's just I mean? it's uh, it's such a distant memory, yeah. and people don't even think to mention it yeah. or ask about and it. I so. was so little. The only memories I really have of Georgetown were like traumatizing ones, like. <laughs> not traumatizing but like painful ones like mm. actually getting hurt like physically because oh, okay. i was so young then like one time uh the, the the cows would run in there and then they would get milked but it was just like you'd have like 12 cows on here and then how you like hook up the machines me and steven were playing in there one time and the cows got released and all we heard was the bells going off <laughs> and stuff like that and i was like oh no steven's like run so we're running like trying to get out of the very end of it yeah. and the cows just come but the gate closes so the gate had closed and there was like just that much and luckily we were like small enough to like dive in there i dove in there and just face first into a pole <laughs> and like this like stuff like that dude is like the only thing i remember of georgetown that's like, crazy like, painful memories see my dad uh our, my dad graduated from Link, so i've been here oh, forever you know from from birth, I've always went to Kermit school early age. God, that was terrible. Kermit was one of the worst things in my entire That's life. That's all we heard in week was mm -hmm. how bad Kermit was. Oh, but. man, it was ridiculous. Oh, and there's a koozie there for you, too. Oh, okay, sweet. Um, yeah, no, Kermit, man, was just down. For me, it was downright horrible because it was like it was the complete opposite of Wink. And Kermit, uh, whites were the minority. Sorry. Oh, it's, it's well, fit. It's the oh, it's the, just the, the, the sleeve's easy. not in there. I don't know where the sleeve is. Oh, you gotta put a sleeve in it too. Yeah, it's it's supposed to fit all all bottled, but I don't know what the sleeve is. Brandon used it last. I don't know what he did with it. It'd be alright. But uh, yeah, no, uh, man, it was like the exact opposite. Uh, whites were the minorities over there, and I was like one of three white kids there, and just constantly picked on. And it, dude, it. I'm talking like every single day. I was either in the ISS getting swats or getting bullied or getting swats for getting bullied. <laughs> Because they would just lie and let, no, nah, he started it and then I would get swats after just getting the shit beat out of me or something, you know? Week wasn't like, like, it was the opposite, but there wasn't like, we didn't get the Mexicans in trouble and like... We yeah, no, when like, I, whenever you know I came I mean? to Wink, it was just, that was the biggest life-changing event yeah. early for me was coming to Wink. Because I still remember to this day sitting out on that the administration building, that big stone slab out there. Mm -hmm. And seeing you and Pondo walk by, I'm like, oh, those two are the big fat bullies. You know, that was, <laughs> but y'all were a lot bigger than me at the time. Remember, I was like 70 pounds soaking wet then. It's true. We're and, still fat to this day, probably. I haven't and, seen uh, in a minute, but, but he's a big boy still. And I just remember seeing that. that was the first thing that went through my head. And then I saw Isaac and Hugo. I was like, oh, those are the short Mexican bullies. They, they were the typical of those in Kermit. So I remember seeing like uh, JC, Katie, Rainey, and Casey Rasco and all them walking. I was like, those are the bitches of the school. And I got one of them right out of all of them. But And what grade was this? This was uh, eighth grade. Eighth grade, okay. Yeah, it was eighth grade when I came over because I came in uh, right after football season. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that's true because I don't really remember you playing junior high or anything like that. Mm -mm. Like yeah, sports wise. The only thing I did was track, I think. What did you do in Kermit? Like, uh, did nothing. you do any Pee Wee, nothing like that? I did elementary? absolutely nothing in Kermit. I used to go to the Kermit pep, pep rallies with Wink Wildcat shirts on. Really? Because I know my dad graduated from there here and all the good stuff. I remember one pep rally. I actually caught the t-shirt they threw out and I threw it back at the cheerleader because I didn't want that <laughs> You threw it back? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want that Kermit crap, dude. I hated Kermit. I hated Kermit, man. Everybody that I've heard that, well, I guess the only people that I've heard that like Kermit are the Mexicans. Like, every other white person I know from Kermit are like, yeah, Kermit sucks. But I don't understand why they just didn't come to Wink. Well, Wink was hard to get into. Wink was super hard oh, to get into. I guess that's right. It, the only reason I got in was because, one, my dad graduated from Wink, and two, I had enough Indian in me that they can claim me as a minority. They did that? Yeah. They said if it wasn't... No. Yeah. Did they really? Yeah. It was the, the Indian blood was the only thing that got me in besides my dad graduating from here. That, that was, was so wild. And they, I still remember they looked at me, pretty much said, are you going to play sports? And so I was like, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna try some sports and stuff because, you know, Kermit, I didn't do them. And they're like, okay, if he fell, well, we'll give him a chance. If he fails, we'll kick him back to Kermit. Mm. He starts failing school and stuff. So. See, I never had... I mean, well, I was in first grade when we came over and Steven was in second and Cito was like in fourth grade or something like that did you want to try that one but i mean that's three boys so wink's probably like oh yeah bring them over oh, like yeah. well y'all lived in wink too that was the other well no we actually lived in kermit oh for okay. like till i was in third grade or mm -hmm. something like that well y'all a minority too or at least could be claimed yeah a minority. i guess so yeah 
That was the other thing. Because I know, like I said, I know a lot of people at Kermit that just couldn't get in because they weren't minority. Or they didn't do sports or something like that. It's very weird. I'm glad, though, that you came over. Because, oh, I like, am, dude. It was... We had a lot of memories together. <laughs> oh, yeah, we did. Like, yeah, it was okay. it was some fun times. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, you want one? No, I got these right here. Cool. Yeah, no, uh, Wink, like I said, Wink was definitely a life changer for me. I can legit say I didn't have friends in Kermit mm -hmm. besides, like, maybe one. And he came to Wink school. And uh, once I came to Wink school, he didn't no longer want to be my friend. Just because of the Wink thing? It was No, he came to Wink school, too. Mm -hmm. It was like he just didn't want to be associated with me or something. Who was that? Brian Kappas. Oh, I remember him, dude. Yeah, he, he was a tall. He looked pretty cool. I mean, like, dude didn't like really real chill. Didn't do sports on it. Nah, he. Yeah. Dude, I, well, if you come to Wink and you don't do sports, that's like the band UI. Well, that was the thing. He did UIL and band. That was mm -hmm. the other thing. And his parents were rich at the time. Well, yeah. I say rich. I mean, decently well off. They were the ones that owned poppies. Yeah. There's like multiple sides to Wink, and like sports just plays such a big deal of it. Like people who don't really do sports probably don't have the best time in Wink. Honestly. Well, see, what's crazy to me too is like uh, how you know you see like high school movies and stuff. You got your band kid, your jocks, your tennis kid, your track kid, this and this and mm -hmm. this. The groups Wink's being set up so in school. Your band kids are the football kids. Your football kids are the track kids. Your football kids are the tennis kids. You know, it's so yeah. it's such a cool dynamic. Yeah, at least my I freshman so. year, I remember taking off my pads and then going out there and playing the baritone, like. At halftime, like sweating and like, and Coach McGee, he was yelling at us, like, like, he was mad at Mr. Roberts, basically, but also mad at me for being in band, and he tried to talk me out of it. I was like, man, no, like, the field trips, like, that's why I'm in it. Like, yeah. baritone wasn't fun to play, but, <laughs> I mean. But the trips and the people were. Yeah, oh, yeah. See, and Isaac was trombone, mm -hmm. so I would, like, actually, like, try in band to be first chair baritone, and I got first chair baritone, and Isaac was so bad, or pretended to be so bad he was last chair just on purpose so, so we could be. sit next to each other the whole time dude and we got in trouble all the time from mr roberts but he was he's real cool too mr roberts is pretty cool man speaking of the band stuff i still remember whenever i was living with you was that year i joined band and uh the i could triangle no symbols oh symbols <laughs> and then you graduated to the triangle yeah no i never used the triangle did you no i used the symbols and then i always snuck the cowbell out Cowbell, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah remember that's I right. was, and I, no, that was the only reason I joined band was because it was the last year uh, the band could go to state, and I was like free trips, dude, free food, free trips, just fun time. Did you try to do an instrument? Huh? Did you try to like do an instrument? Like Mr. Roberts, like, like try this instrument out. No, uh, he no. pretty much put me in percussion because remember I couldn't read music. That oh, that Erling right. syndrome thing I got, I can't read sheet music. Your what syndrome? It's like a form of dyslexia, uh, but instead of like flipping stuff. Imagine reading a book, and then it takes everything on this page and layers it on top of this page. It's like a really bad. It's like so imagine like not your having eyes are going like cross essentially cross-eyed, but without going cross-eyed. Imagine something that you need glasses Rondo. for that you can't get glasses for. <laughs> is essentially what it is. And uh, sheet music, graphs, uh, word searches, things like those, I can't look at for too long. Really, it hurts your eyes, huh? It, yeah, it actually does physically like headaches after a while and stuff. So and what's it called? Erling syndrome? Erling syndrome. Erling oh. Ern, Erling or something like that <laughs> right around there. <laughs> I got a diagnosis when I was in jail. You went to jail too? Remember I went to jail for two weeks in my senior year? No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I don't even remember that. And then I came back because that's why I moved in with you, remember? Because I moved to jail I and then I moved me. back to Wink or to Kermit with my grandma, but Wink wasn't going to accept me because I didn't live in town anymore. Okay, so that's that's why I had to move in with you for those six weeks, just so they would accept me back into the school. I never asked. Yeah, that was the whole thing. Think reason. of it. Mom's just like, hey, Jeremy's going to be moving in with us. It's like, all right. <laughs> I, I still can't even remember how that happened either. Like, I don't remember the conversations on it or anything of how... Your parents volunteered for that. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember. I remember you moving in, but I, that was all I remember was, like, my mom was like, hey, you're going to live with us. And I was like, okay, cool. But I don't, like, you You never talked to them, like, beforehand, right? Or did you kind of? No. It was like I met your parents a couple times coming over to your house. Yeah. And I don't know how it worked out. I think. It's like, hey, do you want to live with us? No. I think it was something along the lines of. I should know I this. I kept but... trying to get into the school. 
and Mr. Boggess and uh, what, what was that old, old guy's name that ran the administration for the longest time? Oh, uh, Benham. Benham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, kept saying there was nothing they could do. You know, I couldn't not live in Wink, and then I moved away, and then all my poor grades from my junior year and stuff, and uh, they just said there's nothing I can do unless I live in town. And so I think somehow word got back to your parents. And like, yeah, uh, I we'll think maybe them. through Pondo's mom or something. They yeah, got back yeah. to your parents. We were super close with and the And then I remember your mom and dad coming over to my grandmother's house and sitting there and talking to, with her about it. And then... How's was, your grandma? Man, she's doing all right. The arthritis is kicking her ass. So, mm -hmm. man, she's getting up there in age. But, yeah, no, I, that's the about the most I remember it. And she, my grandma loved your mom and dad and said, yeah. Yeah, yeah my, my, my parents, they didn't... Anybody could come over, dude. Like yeah. anytime. Like Isaac lived with us too for a little bit. I think he talked about that. I, I think he did for a little yeah, bit. Yeah. yeah. Heck yeah. And that was how was your two weeks in uh, jail? So, I was there the entire summer. Uh huh. But uh, the two weeks of school weren't worked. So I did the school and I did the uh, two. Uh, what's it called? The pre-football shit. Oh, two days. Two a days. And the two days, oh my God, those are some of the worst coaches I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. Like if I talk, talk to one of them coaches, like I would have talked to coach, if I would have talked to coach Hurts or them, like I would have talked to them. Oh, I would have been slapped or something. Really? Yeah, because I remember one day I was doing the workouts from Wink still, you know, uh, coach Hurts' workouts by myself, you know, I, I cut the weight back a little bit because I didn't have a spotter and I was just doing them by myself. And that coach walked up to me and he said, hey, aren't you going to work out with the other guys uh, and do their workouts? I was like, nah, my workouts are better. Oh, okay. And walked off. <laughs> And then uh, I was doing defensive end, and he was like, hey, we're going to try you out at tight end. I was like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. He's like, well, what, what do you want to do? I was like, just defensive end. What about days we practice offense? I'll go on scout defense and keep practicing defensive end against the varsity. Oh, okay, yeah, sounds good. So you're just coaching yourself, doing whatever. Yeah. That explains so much because every time we'd go to Jow, any, any class, yeah. we'd go to Jow, we'd usually like. Dude, they were by, like, so 20, bad. Like, and I was such a health nut more. back then, too. When I was going to jail. Oh, yeah. Dude, I was running every single day, fucking nothing but greens. You just liked food. it, huh? No, I was trying to stay healthy then, yeah. you know? And then uh, I went to the school. God, the school dude was horrible. Like, uh, so I was going over there at, from a senior, from my junior year. Uh -huh. And uh, I should have failed. Uh, I'm not going to say which teacher or, I guess, administrative person or whatever, fudged all of my stuff and said I passed. Like, went in and changed. I'll tell you after, you know, with the podcast. I don't want to get her in trouble. And was uh, a girl. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and uh, she changed all of my stuff to what I passed. When I got over to Wink or Jow, because that, that was the year I missed, like, 60-something days of school and failed, like, five classes because I just wasn't like, doing anything. Get this guy out of my grade. Like, <laughs> pass, and, pass, uh, pass, No, pass. it wasn't a teacher we had. It was, like, somebody else. And, uh, you'll, you'll know who later. Uh, and... Uh, I got over there down and they sent the transcript over there like, oh no, you you were a you're a past on pretty much everything, but there's a lot of class you gotta catch up for New Mexico. You know, because I had to take New Mexico history and stuff they required over there. Gross. And so my I was pretty much a junior again still. And my classes were like New Mexico history, teachers aid, teachers aid, teachers aid, math, and like regular history and athletics. And then they said my senior year was literally gonna be like six periods of teachers aid, uh -huh. one senior math class, and then athletics. Because I was just so far ahead, but yet so far behind on their stuff. So, in your senior year here in Wink, mm -hmm. didn't you kind of have, like, the same issues? You were close to failing, right? I tried to fail my senior year. <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't fail my senior year. You would have been eligible to play another year, though, right? Because I didn't that's, play my yeah, freshman year. Yeah, I didn't do any sports right, my freshman yeah. year besides track. And I didn't do track my senior year, so I was going to do track the next senior year. Uh, yeah, so I was uh, trying to fail. I was like, I ah, screwed it. I'll just go another year, do things right next year, and then go on. You know, but, and then my uncle, we got that new uh, administration dude that came in, the one from the 5A school, right after Mr. Benham. Oh, what was his? Uh, like, I didn't know yeah, his name or nothing. He didn't and, last very long either. No, he did not. But my uncle literally pretty much cornered him one day, talked to him, explained the situation. He said, no, we'll have him pass. <laughs> because I remember it was like purely his decision too. Because I remember our, our graduation day, I'm like walked up to Mr. Boggess and my cat and Hey, am I walking today or not? Uh, I don't know. Hang on. I had to go talk to him. <laughs> and go back. And I remember Mr. Boggess. Yeah, you're walking. I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Oh man. 
And we'll come back to some of those high school stories. But I want to know more because, like I said, high school I pretty much knew. Younger life didn't really. I mean, it's pretty all self-explanatory. I mean, you did pretty good in Wink, younger life and school Yeah, and yeah. Stuff. When we came over here, it was just... Smooth sailing, pretty much. Yeah. We were just bad kids hanging around, running around, calling oh, yeah. mayhem around. <laughs> you know, yeah, you know how it is around here. There's not, not, nothing to do. Oh, yeah, that's so, how it always like, was. So, like, did you ever go with us in uh, JT's, like... No. Fifth wheel that he I had? didn't have JT. No? Remember, JT Truck wasn't around whenever oh, I was. Oh, that's right. He was from Kermit. Though, yeah, I knew him. Oh, okay. Did you ever go to school with him at, like, at all? I remember him slightly, but... The, see, the weird part about Kermit school, too, was... Even though there were so little white kids, none of the white kids got along. Really? I yeah. figured y'all just, like, clicked together. No, it was like a battle royale. Like, the bullies would literally put us in a room together and try to make us fight each other. What, what do you mean, like, the... like? Okay, so the bullies... There's just so many bullies out there, like... The, nobody just, in Kermit liked white people at all. It was uh, that bad. It's, there was one big white bully. That was it. And, and he was just so bigger, because he was, like, three grades behind, so he was just so much bigger than anybody else. Nobody messed with him. He was the biggest issue. Like, he would literally, like, push, you, like, two of you in the bathroom and tell you to fight each other or he's going to beat the shit out of you. <laughs> type of <laughs> stuff, yeah. We didn't have that. I mean, we had, like, bullying and weak, but... Well, for... From my point of view, you know, it's from what I've seen. I didn't see, like, a lot of bullying. Yeah, no, I didn't like, really recognize it. No, I like, mean, swirlies and, like... No, the only... I think the only people I could classify in Wink that were a bully, at least to me, were, like, Tate Slaughter and Juan Hawkins. Oh, yeah. But they weren't really bullies. They were just dicks. Yeah, they were just dickheads. In and, the day. They, when and we they got had, older, we yeah, got closer. They had though. their moments, you know, yeah. yeah but, but, yeah, those are about the only ones I can really classify as actual, like, even close to bullies. Nothing compared to the current ones. Mm. My wife is actually about to start teaching in Kermit. Oh. Elementary, though. Oh, okay. In yeah. August. So, we'll see how that is. I like, think the bully starting for me it was fifth grade. When it fifth started. Fifth grade? Yeah. Okay. It should be... It should be like a second or third grade, like, oh, English yeah. teacher or something It wasn't like that. bad back yeah. then. And then I, mean, I think you're, you're too so small you, at that age. You're too young to really... To, yeah. I don't know, though, dude. Kids nowadays are... They're way... Way, ahead of like... I think it's, like, the internet and, like, they're, all, like, trying to be TikTok famous already. That's already what it is, the internet. Instagram models or whatever they are. Influencers. There you go. Yeah. That's all yeah. it is, the internet. That's the, really the, the base of it. Yeah. I don't know what age I'm going to give my daughters. A phone like, and stuff. Phones. Like, I just want to buy one eventually where they can just call. See, that's like, me. That's, hey, that pick was, me up. That's my mindset. If I ever had a kid. Yeah. You're getting, like, a flip phone at, like, 7 to, like, 13, 14, and then you can have a smartphone. Yeah, no, like, internet access at all. Yeah. Like, you're I just would get Facebook. Me. That's about yeah. it. You I had on Facebook? I had Facebook pretty young. I did, too, but I think, like, we were just getting into, like, everybody mm. was having computers and phones. Yeah, were starting but that's to, the like, thing, too. At least smart. if it's on a computer, I can monitor it. Yeah, that's true. That's Yeah, that is true. Yeah, you could sign up for all sorts of, like... You can pay people to sit there and watch your kids, like, activity. Oh, yeah. And then they'll send you, like, a report or whatever. Like, Well, see, mine would be, whatever. you know, like, it's not going to be a computer in, like, their room. It's going to be, like, a family computer in the living room. Everybody gets to the We had that in, That's our, what I in our house, yeah. And it, it was because I had urges Yeah. at the time. Yeah, and it was like, dang, it's in the living room. Like, and oh, I, I didn't, didn't have, care. like, a smartphone. Oh, I didn't like, care. Yeah. <laughs> It wasn't to the wall, so I'd watch it, then I'd go somewhere else. We well, didn't have also, like, a huge family either. It was just, oh, like, yeah. what, you, your dad. Me, my dad, and, and Pat. Pat, and then you had a brother? Kevin, but he was disabled, remember? He couldn't leave his He's bed. He was just in his room yeah. all the time. Yeah. Yeah, so, I, I you mean. you talked to him? I, I haven't seen or spoken to him since my dad passed, pretty much. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. What do you think he's up to nowadays? Is he still with, uh... I think he's still living with that piece of shit bitch, but... Pat, or yeah. I, I met her one time. She's pretty scary. That was I'm some thinking. of the, like, besides Kermit school, that was the trauma that the house was hers. Like, she was abusive mentally, physically, and it was bad. Like I said, going to Wink was one of the best things ever, and at, I still had that, unfortunately, at the house, was I still had her. Because, and she, like I said, she was literally physically abusive, mentally abusive, stupid rule beyond all belief. Like, uh, like I told Isaac, it was like, even Summers. Music, TV, and video games, you get three hours a day, that's it. Not not separate, combined, that's it. So what was your, like, take me through, like, a day in your house back in, when you were living under her rules, or... I did whatever I could to go somewhere else. Really? She'd let you, though? Or she'd, my like, try would. to stop you? My dad would. Oh, yeah. And if I was grounded or something, like, uh, my dad, that Sean dude, he hated her. 
Oh, yeah. And so, like, she, he would do shit on purpose. Like, one day, she grounded me for my TV. He showed up, like, the, the next weekend with, like, a 48-inch screen TV. Hey, you know, I don't need this anymore. You know, he would do it on purpose. He did it on off. purpose. Or, like, he'd know I'm grounded, and he would just show up. Hey, I'm taking Jeremy to a concert, and then just take me to a concert to in Odessa. I would have bought you, like, the loudest drum set with, like, so many <laughs> cymbals on it. So, like, like, <laughs> <laughs> see, uh, there was other things. I couldn't close my door. You couldn't close your bedroom no door. No way. Yeah. She'd get pissed off if I closed the bedroom door. She actually got took it one day when I was at school, took the door, closed it, and then put the big ass dresser in front of it so I couldn't close it. Did you ever just put like a curtain? Nope, couldn't do any of that. I wasn't allowed privacy. A teenage boy didn't need privacy, she said. She just wanted to watch you. <laughs> <laughs> I hated that. Woman. How how did you do that? Bathroom. Bathroom. Oh. Are you sure you're able to close the door in the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> Open the door, Jeremy. I need to see what you're doing in there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, back then it was like you said, no smartphones or nothing. It was still magazines. Dude, yes. Magazines were My dad a had a huge, huge collection. I always still like two or three hiding Dude. in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. But me and Pondo had like a whole box buried in the pasture and we would go to that <laughs> in the past in the pasture yeah because like we had brothers dude so if like our brothers like got them we would never give them yeah i guess back. that's a, the cool part about it being an only child really yeah yeah and jt jt had some yeah. that he gave us and when we got that camper that i was telling you about like we just we got them out of the pasture and just stacked them up mm. in that little rv thing that we had and that was it dude we had our own little sanctuary that we'd go to so while we're on the topic i'm gonna bring this question up the weirdest place you've ever jerked it since we're on the topic of porn and all that. Weirdest place? A Walmart parking lot, for sure, when I was like seventh grade. Seventh grade? What, the like, parents leave you in the car by yourself? Yeah, I, I told them I was tired. I was going to take a nap, or like, I just didn't want to go in. They're like, you sure? I was like, yeah. So they went in to go get groceries, and I was just sitting there. And just I didn't have a phone <laughs> or anything, just, just my imagination. Just your dude. imagination. Yeah, <laughs> but... And I was always kind of paranoid because I, I like got down as low as I could. Like in the floorboard. Because I was like the cameras in the parking lot. I was like, what if they see me? Like they're just gonna zoom in. I'm gonna be on the news. Like little kid, seventh grade, found in Walmart parking lot. Like, gonna, yeah. What about yours? Okay, so mine. I I somewhat mentioned this to you. I used to work for an electric company. Mm -hmm. And I drove the bucket trucks. And you've but, said their name on this podcast like multiple times, right? Yeah, I think me and Isaac, I think after, like, drinking so much, I just kept forgetting not to say, and I kept just saying, fuck them. <laughs> but for this term, I'm going to say electric company. Um, we were heading out to Orla. Oh, uh, trash cans around the corner. You can actually, if you want to set it here in the middle of the bar. I meant to do that earlier. But, yeah, no, so it was, I was heading out to Orla. I can't remember the name of the road. Uh, God dang it. And I had it I had it in my head what road it was. Wildcat Road? Something like that. Wildcat Road. Out there in Orla? Oh, no, I don't ever really go to Orla. Oh, okay. I think there's something called like that. Can I uh, grab no, one? Yeah, just grab uh, one of those uh, Budweiser Supremes. There's no more shiners. Those are pretty good, though. Uh, so, so we're heading out there, there, and I was a, I was ahead of the guys. Like, they were doing another job that they were going to meet me out there. Uh -huh. So I knew I was a good 30 minutes to an hour ahead of them. So I get out there, go on to my phone, and, you know, urges came up. And uh, it got in my mind. I was like, I wonder what it feel like to jerk it, like, 30 feet up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> like, the blood flow will be a little different, like, <laughs> elevated this high like. in the air. So, you know, I sit there a little bit. I'm like, no, nah, someone's going to show up if I do. And it was like a old, yeah, I can't remember the name of the company. Uh, it was a shitty little mom and pop company. Like they did not have a lot of business, and like nobody was coming to these locations. I think this location was dead, so nobody was coming to it because we uh -huh. got to turn power on beforehand. And uh, I'm like, fuck it, you know what? So I hop in the bucket truck and I take it like 30 feet and up there. I put it near the pole to make it look like I'm doing something. It was deadline. <laughs> that would have been funny if you were in the middle of just the well pad and nothing around you, 30 feet in the air. <laughs> Feet in the air. <laughs> what are you doing, Glass? I'm working on something. <laughs> and, so, and so, you know, I get up there and I take a, uh, these paper towels that they're like the shittiest paper towels in the fucking world. They're, they don't absorb nothing, they just smear around type oh. things. And I'm up there and it, it takes a little bit because it's kind of awkward because I'm standing too. And uh, this was one of those I had to like stand on my tippy toes and force <laughs> it kind of. <laughs> and uh, How long did it take you to climax? And it took like 15 to 20 minutes. 
and that's normally not normal for me jerking. <laughs> like, like five minutes? No, like, yeah, I'm like a three minute jerk, dude. I can, I think if I put my mind to it, I can do it. Force it out. And that's what <laughs> I had to 30. pretty much do because I'm for like, sure. I'm running out of time and if I don't handle this now, I'm going to have a fucking boner for like the next hour. <laughs> and uh, all over the inside of that bucket. On the, like the wall of the bucket because the buckets come up to Where here. other people go inside to work and stuff And like so that. I'm trying to wipe it up with these shitty fucking paper towels and it's just pushing it around. So what I do is I just take the tool pad and move it on the, in front of it because <laughs> I see like a dust thing off in the distance uh-huh. coming down the road and I'm like, I don't know if it's them or not. So I just see like the dust line up. So I put that on it, bring the bucket down, act like nothing happened, never told nobody until like earlier this year. You know what happened? The next guy to use that was good. like he rose the bucket up to work on something, and that tool thing was in the way. That pad. Mm-hmm. He went to grab that pad, I bet, <laughs> and just got stuff all over his hands. Think, it was like, huh? I Wait. think the next person to use it was Charles Woods. I don't know who that is. The one of the owners. Really, the owner? The, wow. The line crew, yeah. Jeremy Glass. I think he was the one of the next ones to use it because if I'm not mistaken, that's the day. I think that's I, I may be mistaken on this this may just be I think that's the day he got pissed off and threw the tool pouch out because there was tools on the floor and they weren't where they were supposed to be covered in jizz he got all pissed off <laughs> <laughs> or they were so slippery, you thought you threw it, and they slipped, and he just like, yeah, I got No, me. no, I'm talking like he pulled that whole tool pouch out <laughs> because nothing's in the right fucking place. And threw it on the ground and made us put everything back. How long, how long did you work there for? Two years. Oh, so you worked there a while. Yeah, until I got fired. How many times did you jerk it working there? That was the only time in the bucket. In the bucket? <laughs> there was other times going down the highway and stuff, but. Did you drive by yourself? Sometimes, yeah. Is it sometimes not? Like sometimes you're just jerking it and someone's driving and you're just no, looking no, back? No, 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> no, while I'm driving. Oh, you're driving. Dang, I've never I've never done that while driving. It's, I don't know if I can focus. It's very hard. I'd be going like 20 miles an hour like down to like a 75. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody passing me and I'm just like trying to focus. It's very weird. I, I don't recommend ticket, that one. Getting a ticket like or getting pulled over. Yeah, officer. <laughs> Still going like the two finger stroke, like. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That's pretty gross. How hot was it that day? Man, it was. I mean, it's West Texas got to be. It's like, probably like ninety something at least. Dang, so you had a little help, you know that sweat too. <laughs> no, spit does the job every time. Yeah, but it's sweat, <laughs> ninety degrees in West Texas, thirty feet in the air. Well, it's windy up there. The higher you get, the windier it is, which is nice. You I, might it, just need to get a bucket truck. And it was probably it the back. closest I could ever get to to like feeling freedom, jerking it. <laughs> Ain't that weird? How like you're you're when you're growing up, like. You're, you just make poor decisions when you're horny. You get that, like, <coughs> you're all, I guess the blood, yeah, like really does just like stay well, down there. Did you see it? There was a podcast. I can't remember whose. They talked about this. It's called, I think it was Joe Rowan and them, Post Nut Syndrome. Have you ever heard of this? Yeah, I've heard of that. Uh, like it's regret actually after? A, it's a real thing that men have. Not even a regret. It's a real thing that men have. Oh. Uh, that it's actually one of those things that like uh, I don't know if I, I imagine women probably have the same thing they just maybe not as to the extent that we do uh-huh. uh, it, it, post nut syndrome I always said this thing back in the past jerk it before you text it because the feelings you're having while you're horny may policy. not be the same thing because you start the conversation I've been plenty of times I started a conversation with a girl on tinder or something went and jerked it no longer wanted to talk to them had no interest in them anymore <laughs> And it's actually a real thing that men have that uh, it's why they uh, people say men are dogs because they will sleep with a woman and then want nothing to do with her because in their mind, it's post-nut clarity, essentially, I think is what Joe Rogan called so it. So it's too. not our fault. It, it, it no, is kind of. No, There's, a control, <laughs> no. there's <laughs> a control to it, but but essentially, yeah, no, it's like one of those things, like you've done it and now you're, you have a uh, higher clarity. It's like, oh, I really don't, there's nothing about this woman that I like besides her body. I don't want to be with her. You ever like watch a video and then just feel like a piece of oh, shit plenty afterwards? Of time. Plenty like, of time. What am I doing? Like just laying in your mess? <laughs> like, what am I doing with my <laughs> life? Yeah. Like, oh, oh, that happens all the time. Yeah. So I started going to church. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you used to be really, really. Your family used to. Anyway. I still am. I mean, I got, I got a dirty mouth for sure. Oh, well, I'm and I'm fucking I, I don't reflect Christ as I should. But like, I, I still go to church and I still mm-hmm. believe and I still get in my Bible like when I can. But 
I think me and Isaac talked about it. I believe there's something out there, like a God-like being. Uh, I just don't believe it's on the level of the Bible, though. I don't we went, believe... We took a hard 180 right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we definitely did. I just don't... I just, <laughs> Laying it in your gist. Yeah, I go to church, man. You're like, but no, like I, I, I fully believe there's something out there. I just don't think he gives a shit to like the level the Bible says. I don't feel like tattoo people are going to hell. I don't feel like yeah, if I mean, you get drunk, you're you, going to yeah. hell. I just generally, if you're a decent person, you're going to go to heaven. And if you're not a complete shitty human being, you're not going to go to hell. Is how I believe. Yeah, I mean, I disagree, but I mean, a lot of people probably believe the way you do. And a lot of people don't like the Bible. Because a lot of people, like, it's a man-made thing and, like, stuff like that. That was one of the arguments I had, too, like, how much of it's actually just made up. I just think too many people, like, when, when people say that, I just I just don't think they put... So, from, like, a Christian's point of view, they believe that, like, or I believe, mm -hmm. that, like, God can work through people. So, like, if he's working through them, then, like, he can he can do that. You know yeah. what I mean? Like not, it's not. Yeah, like, I can see that but argument. Yeah. Also, I can also see like, yeah, some people can just write bullshit. Yeah. Just be like, yeah, yeah, like you, you can't. Eat, yeah, but you, you know, see, that's like, like my argument. Like, slim how do you know whoever wrote the fucking Bible just didn't trip out on, or like yeah. came up with some of the stories, just didn't eat a bad mushroom, and he tripped and thought he saw a god like being. Yeah, he was well, that's, that's with like any any religion out there, or, like especially Christianity. Like that's where faith comes into mm -hmm. play. Like you have to have faith. Without faith, like you won't. Like, I can't sit here and say that God's real and just be like, hey, he's right there. Like, you don't see him? Like, yeah. Come on. See, like, and... That's uh, where faith comes in. I can definitely also... I also... There are parts of the Bible I do believe because mm -hmm. there's too many consistencies between the Quran, the Bible, mm -hmm. uh, you know, all other religions. There's too many consistencies. There's all... In every... Almost every religion story, there is a tale of an ark and a flood. Yeah. Too many consistencies for that kind of stuff. There's even, like, scientists that have went over there and, like, they yeah. can prove, like, certain things happen, but, like... It's just up to people if they want to tie it to the Bible or not. You yeah, see, I mean? that's or where I believe there is some whatever. some consistencies in it, and I believe some things are true, just not all of it. I don't believe 100% of it. Yeah, I get that. I get that, man. I really do. And at the end of the day, uh, the rapper I listened to named Hobson, he had a song talking about this. I'm not going to put my own pleasure aside for an afterlife that ain't even guaranteed. You know, that was one of his lines in the song. Well, on the other hand, let's say that... I spend this lifetime compared to eternity, eternity yeah. forever, right? If if eternity, if I have a rope right here and I run around the world and I come back to the same spot and it just keeps going, but like just to say for like visual purposes or something, like it, it comes right here. Yeah. How much of this lifetime reflects that rope? See, I if see I just that. got a razor blade, it just that. Yeah. That is this lifetime right yeah. now. So See, if you screw that up, yeah. the rest of your rope is gone. Like, it's it's gone. See, you know that's I mean? why I do believe, like, being a good person, too. That's why I said, like, if you're a decent human being and, like, uh, all like truly shitty things you've done in your life, if you're truly, like, regret, you know, regrettable or regrettable and you don't enjoy those things, yeah. that's also where religion comes in and says you will be forgiven for those types of yeah. things, you know? Well, people also like to take, like, parts of it, too, and it's like make it something it's not yeah you know what i mean like they'll they'll definitely hash out like like the uh like being physical or like war or anything like that well they say turn the other cheek that doesn't mean like be a doormat you know what i mean it doesn't mean like just let people walk over you yeah like you know what i mean like so anytime like a christian like tries to do something like they'll just throw stuff like at them or yeah. her or whatever you know what i mean no, see and that's uh the other like uh, how judgmental some religious people are dude Churches are really bad today. Like, not all of them. Yeah, I say all. churches. Yeah, like I don't think they're real churches. In a hole, yeah. yeah. But, like, Christians are really, really judgmental. Yeah, see, that's where it literally says don't judge one another and all that stuff. And, well, you got to read more into it. It says, like, judge, but judge righteously. Yeah. It doesn't just say, like... But it also says be kind. And a yeah, lot exactly. Of but not. if you, like, get to the roots, yeah, it's like, it's literally just telling you to be a good person. Like, yeah. love your neighbor. See, that's like, not... That's just the way I look at it, the way I want to live by. E even if you take, like, all that out of it, like, at the end of the day, if, like, your neighbor's struggling and you help them out, like... That that's a good thing, right? Yeah. But we as humans like make it so much harder than it needs to be. Like all these people starving and stuff like that. Like I just don't think there's enough help, you know, out there. 
And I wish I could help everybody out there, but I don't make that much money. You All know right. what I mean? Oh, I, I feel that. I remember uh, my sophomore year, I was super religious. And I got baptized and everything. And then after my dad passed, my whole mindset just turned. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, traumatic events like that can definitely turn you you're either gonna like your faith is gonna get like super strong or super like you're literally gonna be like there's not a god or god is that's there, how but that's he took the my path dad I from me down. so yeah. like you know i don't want to be part of that that was definitely the path i went down at first what are you making a uh, mojito it's just a pre-mix unfortunately around here nobody sells fucking mint so i can't make actual mojitos Bro, i'll get you a couple mint plants in the backyard and just water them all like uh, never okay. happened why? I can barely take care of a dog and a cat, let alone a plant. Just get you one of those little auto timer things. Run it for 10 minutes a day. Solar powered. That would be nice. We're going to run to Builder Supply. Or it's Ace <laughs> Hardware now. Yeah, Ace now, which is kind of nice. And we talked about that the other day. Yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, Dalton's mom, I thought, owned it the whole time. No, she, she was just it. managing it. Yeah, right? she just okay. managed it so the other guy didn't have to. That's going to be so awesome, though, having Ace here. Like, because the prices are going to go down, there's probably oh, yeah. more variety Four, stuff. Oh, sure. But yeah, no, one thing I, uh, I'm definitely interested in is your life after high school, my guy. Because, like I said, right out of high school, I literally moved across the entire fucking country. And uh, you stayed, well, I don't know if you stayed here, but uh, you got pretty much married right out of high school, didn't you? Yeah, so my senior year in high school, I was engaged to Sam, and uh, which is a female for the people listening. Um... Graduated in May, right? Is when we graduated? Somewhere around that. I turned 18 in July, that like two months later or whatever. Oh, you were young then. Yeah, yeah. I just turned 18 and got married in August. So like right out of the gate. I got married. We, uh, I started pumping there in Andrews. We lived in Andrews for a little bit and I went to Amarillo because we just weren't like too happy in Andrews. That premix is actually pretty good. Yeah, that almost tastes like it has mint in it. For as simple as it is to make, yeah. But you moved to Andrews. You need to get some mint, dude. Crush it, put it in there. Get you. I'm gonna buy you a plant. <laughs> um, yeah, moved to Andrews, and we didn't like it there, so we went to Amarillo. That's when I started working as a correction officer there at one of the units. Oh, okay. And then I did that for three years. Was not happy there at all. The pay sucked. Working for the state is trash. So, like, what I was doing, in a way, yeah. you know what I mean? Like seeing murders, rapists, and stuff like that every day is just like, it's it's not like great. I don't know why people would make a career out of it. Props to the people that do, but. It wasn't for you. Yeah, it wasn't for me, but I did it for three years on the night shift. And then uh, I was like, man, uh, this ain't working out. And around that time, I was kind of looking for another job, like kind of, kind of looking to something, getting something else. And uh, my dad called me and was like, hey, there's an opening here. Like, so. I was like, what's the pay? And he told me the pay. I was like, well, that's like double, or <laughs> double what I'm making, making here. Yeah. So I was like, I'm there. So I came here and started that ever since, too. Oh, so yeah, I came man. back. But the, the state is broke, dude. Like, oh, yeah. uh, it's, it's amazing how pay, like, people think the state is the richest place on the planet. Yeah. It's so If broke. you're a single man and, like, don't, don't have kids, yeah. you know, no child support and all like that, heck, yeah, dude, do it. Yeah, it's it's all a, the time they give you. Oh, yeah, because, like, I mean... I live here with Dalton. I pay the electric bill. Really? That's all oh, I pay. Well, yeah, this was like grandma's house. For yeah, he, he doesn't pay any bills. Right? Yeah, but just the electric bill. That's all I pay. Yeah. And so 70, 70 to 100 bucks a month. On just like bills? Just the electric bill. Well, just that's the electric all I pay. Bill, the and then bill. he pays the water. He pays and the water, and gas, and everything else. And then taxes at the end of the year? Yeah, he pays all that. Well, I think his mom pays the taxes. I'm, uh, I'm not 100% sure he may do that. <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, it, dude, it's such a nice life. Just that's the only way you can live off the state, like you said. Yeah. If you got a family, house bill, uh, imagine car having note. two kids or three kids, yeah, like working what you are doing and having like a significant other, like that has to take care of the kids, yeah, and you know having I mean? a car note, a house note, and every dude, there's no way, yeah, dude. there's no way on a once a month pay. Oh, yeah, that was the worst part about it was getting paid once a month, like because you have to, you have to focus your bills, dude, like on the second uh -huh. of the month. Like, if you do it on the first of the month, what if there's a screw up? You know what well, I mean? See, then I'm, you're screwed. I see, I get lucky. I usually get mine two days early. Oh, well, yeah, that, that's. 
I usually Lucky. get it on like the, the 30th or the 31st. Oh, yeah, I got mine on the 1st. Every now and then I would get that early. The only August. reason I get it early is because I go through the credit union and Kermit. Oh, okay. And the credit union don't hold shit. So it's like literally the sec, because they're supposed to hold it for two days mm. after the te- or the state uh, puts it in. Mm. And the credit union's like, that's their money, fuck it, release it. Yeah, exactly. That's how I felt about it. I was like, there should be no holds. Like, yeah. I worked for it, just give it to me. So I get lucky there. But yeah, no, that's how I, I have to consolidate all my bills to the first. Mm-hmm. I, I have like a bill, my internet comes out in the sixth, and I'm like, <laughs> can we bump it up? <laughs> yeah, dude. You know, like, take my money early. I, I'm, I hate waiting that long. That's the worst, because let's say there's like a concert or something, like yeah. the fourth. You know what I mean? Like, you got your bills taken care of, you think of, and you're oh, like, dude, I, this concert's just too good to pass up. Well, that's how I am. Like, if I get on here drinking, play my games, oh, that's a cool skin. I want that. Or maybe I want to order this game. Maybe, that or just one bill, Amazon. dude, yeah. on the six could just, like, fuck your whole world up. Yeah. And then if you're late on it, they'll cancel it. And then, like, depending on what it is, you got to, like, get, do a connection fee or yeah, whatever, like, what shit. it might yeah. be. So you're paying more. Yeah, like, no, I actually, yeah. luckily, my uncle works for the internet company. I told him, I was like, hey, you, can, you got to administrate stuff? He's like, yeah, I was like, bump my payment to yeah. the first. <laughs> that's broke people problems, man. Yeah, yeah I mean, we're still. Oh, yeah. There, See, surprisingly, right now, I still got like $30 left for the month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's the 17th. It's the 17th, dude. You're doing good, and dude. The, the only reason I have that was because I got my payment from Twitch. My first payment from Twitch for streaming. Did you really? Yeah. Congrats, 100, 100, like $102 like $2 or something like that. Sweet. How but does that work? You reach 100 bucks and they pay you out. So, like, uh, like if you're Twitching or whatever it's called. Streaming. Streaming? Yep. Oh, there you go. And I, like, throw, like, some dollars into that account or send it to you so, and they have a hold on it until it gets 100 Yes. Okay. And so, like, say you come into my thing. The way I have it set up, subscribers equal shots. So you come into my stream <laughs> and then you subscribe, which uh-huh. is $5. Mm-hmm. Uh, a tier one's $5. And uh, Twitch takes 250 of that and it gives me the other 250 Now... Have to. Yeah. Now there are other ways. There's like I could set up a PayPal through it to where you just donate straight to me and nobody gets a, a piece of it. But subscribing comes with like benefits, like they get emotes made by my channel. They can use it in other oh, channels okay. and little stuff. Like they get ad free viewing. So if you subscribe, like if you watch me without subscribing, an ad may pop up now and then. Mm. But if you subscribe to me now, you get ad free viewing. Oh, okay. So it's little benefits like that. And like I said, I do subs equal shots. So if someone subscribes, I take a shot. That's my little gimmick with it. Does that ever, like, come back to bite you in the ass? It did when I used to do follows equal shots before. Oh, I, dude. Well, before you I... Five, imagine if that was YouTube. That's 5,000, like... Yeah. Well, see, that on, on Twitch, it's different. I only have, like, 170 uh, yeah. follows. Uh, but what screwed me was I used to do follows equal shots before I got... Because uh, you have to get affiliate before you can get subscribers. You have to be an affiliate before you can make money with Twitch. You have to reach 150 subscribers, and you have to have three concurrent viewers, like an average of three viewers in your stream. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I reached that, but before I reached out, you know, I was just doing follows, trying to get people to follow, reach yeah. my goals and stuff. And I got what's called rated. Dude brought his entire viewing platform while they were watching him. He's like, we're going to go raid somebody. And he just happened to find my channel, rated me with like 80 people, and I got like 22 follows that night. Like, that fast, and I had to do 22 jello shots in like 10 minutes. Dang. Why didn't you just like space it out? Oh, because I was, I'm a king, bro. <laughs> you are king. <laughs> you are king, dude. You're, I was just you going were, for it at the time. You were a celebrity around these parts. You are, dude. See, I didn't realize it until I got started getting recognized at like the VFW by like some older people. It, I bet it feels pretty good, right? It feels good. It, it's weird though, too. I, I bet it's equivalent to like. It's probably better, like, having a badass Friday night football game and winning mm-hmm. and then, like, going all sips the next morning to go get a freaking chimmy or something. Oh, yeah, and then, then like, like some old man's yeah. in there, like, you played a hell of a game yeah. last night, man. Like, that felt good. See, I never got that, so yeah. I guess it's my I bet, equal to that. Cause, well, probably better now that you're freaking older and you can actually do and say what you want. Oh, yeah, which is real. Well, I can somewhat. Uh, like I said, I got that guideline strike for the whole one video, which I'm not even going to mention it. On your TV, got strike. Yeah, for uh... heroin. No, <laughs> global pain. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. I'm not Dalton. <laughs> We're gonna come up with a uh, slang name for that. Yeah, but no, uh, I got struck for that. So I, you can pretty much say what you want nowadays. But uh, I try to. I'm trying to keep away from that because I want to keep the channel up. I was telling Isaac about oh, this yeah. uh, two weekends ago when me and him went to Odessa. My idea behind this channel. It's kind of my uh, legacy. 
you know, I want this channel to be around forever. As long as YouTube, though, pretty much, I want this channel to be around. I have videos I recorded back at the camper that are published, but they're not. I've been around since you're like. I guess almost the beginning, Pretty your modern the warfare days, oh, yeah. like when you're raging and then like your rant to Delcom oh, yeah. for having shitty, like this, those videos, dude. Oh, yeah. oh my That was God. practically the beginning. Before you just like, hey, this is Jeremy Glass. Yeah. It's weird. <laughs> on the like, phone. No, you're, I'm drunk, y'all. Like, what, <laughs> what are you talking about? That was before you even came up with that name, you know? <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, I have videos I recorded like three years ago that are, are on YouTube, but not published yet. Like I recorded them as like a message to future self. They come, one comes out in like 2025, the other one comes out in 2030. Really? It's already published, but as long as YouTube's still around, it's gonna schedule to come out then. So you're gonna have an upload? Yeah, like, like I, could, I could die tomorrow and those videos will still upload in like 10 years from now. Really? <laughs> Dude, that would be the best, like, thing, because, like, people would think you're alive <laughs> like, if you were dead. Like, oh, my God. Dang, Glass must have fell on tough times. He's, he's back in the camper again. Like, <laughs> yeah. But, no, they're like a message to my future self, essentially, is what they are. Did you and, actually do, like, hey, I'm proud of you? Like, like, hey, you know, you're at a small grind now. Just keep it up. Maybe you'll get there. Like, and, like uh, the one in 2030, I was like, hey, you know, so maybe I have kids. I was like, maybe I have kids now, and y'all are watching this. You know, like I love y'all. Yeah, I hope y'all yeah. doing good. You know? <laughs> Did you really yeah. do that? That's awesome, dude. And I plan on doing more videos as those released. Release a couple more to come out later on. I need to do that. And it might uh, be not on YouTube, but like just be like, oh, Sam, yeah. send me this video. <laughs> <laughs> like t 10 years <laughs> but yeah no i did that like i said i want this to be around because it's like to say for god forbid something does happen to me if somebody does care enough like no oh, i can go watch jeremy glass videos still you know he's not around but i miss him i can go watch his videos i still go through your like rage videos it's like when you're doing the over <laughs> over it with that game Fogarty getting over it? it yeah getting over it you still said you'd do it and you, i have you not done, done it yet <laughs> i'm not dead you yet you need to so. just do like one more run like all right, you don't have to finish it now, I finish even it though you pledged I, to I it. I still got to finish it. Yeah. I have that downloaded on that fucking computer, and I've still yet to go back to it. You got to do a video on it, dude. <laughs> I need Just to. So I can sit there and watch it. But yeah, no, uh, that, that, that's like a legacy like I want to leave, because I ain't got nothing else right now, fucking. <laughs> you know, I, I still like, that's why I like doing those living video wheels that I do. <laughs> Is that legit? Birthday. Yeah. Well, I don't know how legit it is. At least, at least people know what the fuck I, I want you're done. You're like, yeah. It's like, well, uh, maybe. Yeah. You know, at least people know what I want done. Yeah. You know, I mean, my grandma would probably dictate it, but I mean, after she passed, there ain't nobody to dictate that shit. Do you have like a legit will, like written down? No. Or just videos? Just those videos. I mean, at least I mean, some, it is least, you. They yeah. would maybe had to hire somebody to see if maybe it's like an authentic video. Yeah, you but, know, like, but I mean. It's on drunk, y'all. Like, I mean, everyone's there like, hey, this is where I want this to go. This is where I want this to go. I mean, you're going to argue with it. I mean, the video's there. I mean, What's your most prized possession? That that setup right there? <sighs> Not anymore. It's pretty cheap now. Uh, Smart my car? My prized possession is going to be that Stone Cold title on there. Really? I think it cost me $1,000. Yeah, I remember watching that. And video. there was only 500 of them ever made. And they're all sold out now. What number did you get? 406. Oh. Or 416. What's no, 406. His, what's his number? 316. 316, yeah. Can you imagine getting that motherfucker? I, that I bet, thing is I, worth... I, I, bet they, I bet they probably gave that one to him. You think? I bet they did, dude. It's, it's weird, dude. Some, like, people out there just have ways of getting shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But, yeah, no, see, my idea with that is, like, uh, after he passes, his, his memorabilia is going to spike. That's probably something after he passes I can walk into, like, fucking Pawn Stars with, and it'll be on, like, an episode. I'm drunk, y'all go send the Pawn Stars. That'd be so great, dude. Oh, man. You, know, you better I... make a video right now. Like, hey, if you ever made it to Pawn Stars, I'm, I'm proud of you. <laughs> 40 years from now. And I could probably turn the profit on that at that point, you know? That 316 one, dude, just probably, oh, like, that bought, it's like now, it's oh, probably yeah. like at least. Well, like, I've seen like one of those, one of the original, because there's a company that remakes these, uh -huh. but they're not the original, you know? Everybody wants the, you know, real collection. That's like a legit one. Yeah, WWE.com. Same type everything. that they, like, make for the like oh it's about the same weight and everything yeah and uh it's in there in that case in the school oh i thought that was just a badass fucking school thing but yeah no so uh, that's my plan on that is turn a profit with that eventually one day if not maybe just keep it forever shit and uh yeah no that that thing's called my price. get you like a a case thing dude put it on the wall i'm not gonna do it here i'm gonna wait till i get my own house oh yeah. try that stuff Imagine if you had a kid now, though. What would be the no. first thing that... Would you sell anything? 
Oh, the bike. Well, the bike I got to pay off for it. So anyway. Oh, you the uh, Indian? Uh, victory now. Victory. Yeah. I had the Indians and I got the victory just because I couldn't pass up the deal on that one. You still ride? I haven't touched that thing in like seven months. Really? It's just too un unbearable around here, man. The sand dollars. You get stuck behind them, it's like getting sandblasted the entire time you're It's like that them. in your car, dude. Like, I can't imagine on a motorcycle, you know what I mean? Like, no, no, no. It's war like you're getting the, the actual oh, sand yeah. in your you're face. You're on a freaking bike, yeah. You know, you're oh, getting yeah. the, it, it hurts. It legit hurts. And again, behind them, it, no matter how far back up, you get in the sand. And then when you're ready to pass them, you have to get right up on them and just like pretty much grin and bear it. If the sand don't get you, the potholes will. Oh, yeah. Or just. Just the traffic. Like the it's traffic like, itself. People don't give a fuck around here. Impatient and everything. Sand Holler will just run a stop sign and I'm drunk, y'all. <laughs> gone. Gone. <laughs> he gone. <laughs> I say that all the time. He gone. <laughs> do you really? I do oh, too. Dude. My buddies, they laugh at me on Call of Duty because my call outs, they're like, because they're pretty, they watch like the professionals and stuff. And he's like, can you imagine this being like in a call out there? He's up to the left. He gone. <laughs> I mean, he's like, imagine that as a real call out. <laughs> he gone. He gone. Because <laughs> I remember I, that's exactly what he said one day because I was watching a dude from a roof. He's like, oh, he's running up to the left and he's like, cut around a building. Here you go. And he was like, <laughs> Have you ever like thought about doing like the airsoft or like paintball no, or like I'm too trying out to get into that? that shit now. Bro, you still got, you're still young. You're like 20. I've had two heart attacks. Still, bro. You got to go out there and that'd be such. Imagine getting a GoPro. <laughs> and like uploading that. Yeah, like, also, where are you going to do it around? How good is I'm drunk, y'all? We know how good he is on the PC or the like, Modern Warfare, <laughs> but how good is he in like actual yeah. airsoft combat? <laughs> I feel like in Shape Me, it was pretty good at it. Because I just, I feel like my thing with COD is like, I'm like my buddy, he's a fucking demon. Like, he is straight, like, top of the line streamer. Me, mine's my strategy. I just have better strategies than a lot. Oh, like, yeah. I think, like, I'm going to go up here, I'm going to take this way around, go up the stairs, come up behind them while he's pushing from this way. You know, I think of that stuff. But You take your gaming very seriously. Oh, yes. Very. I don't know about, like, as serious now. Oh, no, I remember I... when we first played with you, it was like you were yelling at us. Yeah. Remember? <laughs> like, I, remember I felt like I was on, in two remember, days again. I remember y'all on PUBG, you Hollis. Yes. We were, we were the worst. Y'all were going with, down, dude. and I'm like jumping this wall, shooting this dude in the head, and y'all are just saying, good job, Glass. <laughs> dude, me and him were like trying to jump on each other, like trying to jump, or, like make a glitch in the game or something. Oh. Like we would we would look up like glitches or whatever, and oh, we would yeah. try to like do it. We never could do Oh, that. God, I'm still bad. Like I don't get mad at people. People just have fun with it, whatever. But like I get mad at the game. Like, I, me at personally, game, yeah. I, like, I'm like, that's bullshit. I shouldn't have fucking died there. Like, my fucking controller over there is, like, half cracked in half because I've slammed it against the table. Do you have, like, padding around it? I'm a... No. I'm a get, that's my next gift to you is a... Uh, <laughs> is a mint plant and then a padded <laughs> controller. Or we're just going to pad this whole damn room up. And we know it breaks. I wanted to soundproof it that way. I wouldn't bother Dalton. <laughs> Cause I get fucking. Is he? He's in the furthest room over. Furthest room? He's, he he barely over here, and he's Does like. Does he drive that great truck? That's his work truck. It broke right now. Oh okay. He said he started backing out. And just How's he out. doing? He's doing good, man. He's he's working at Keystone right now. He's loving. Is he really? It. He works he, with the Hollis's mom, then. Keystone Pump and Supply. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know she worked over there. But yeah, no, he works over there, and he he enjoys it. Yeah, she's like the front desk type deal, I think. Oh okay. She drives that red car that's always there. I hope that's not the one he said he was screwing. <laughs> David? <laughs> we'll have to take a run to Keystone. That's crazy. Well, if you ever see a red car <laughs> over here. Hey, don't say that. Uh, Hollis's mom's name is Stacy, too. Nah, he said it was some younger chick that just started there when okay. he first started. Yeah. Stacy's a saint. She would never. She would never. <laughs> oh, but... But yeah, no, he's doing good, and he's, he's cleaned up. I'm super proud of him just because he's cleaned up so well. Dude, me too. He had he some was, rough was, edges, dude. He was in a real dark place for a long time. That girl, Which we was, all have been through, like, stuff oh, like yeah, that. Oh, yeah, he just he's handled through it the really bad, though. though. But yeah, no, he, for him to bounce back from it, not a lot of people bounce back from that, man. No, heck no, they'd be in, like, rehab and, yeah. and, and or in and out of rehab. Because like, that, that was one of the things when I moved in, I told him, I was like, if I catch you with this shit, I'm just going to beat the shit out of you. I told him, I was like, it's not going to be in the house. I was like, I'm with love, man. I, that's love. the only way I know how to do it. I tried it with my cousins. It didn't work. Uh, Dalton took it to heart, though. I mean, I got on to him a couple times. So I was like, dude, I'm... You beat the shit out of your cousins and it didn't work? Yeah. Uh, Keisha's uh, brothers. One of them. I've never met, like, her family, which I guess you're her family. You're the only family I've met, met her. from hers then, I guess. Yeah, no, uh, uh, just her brothers, because uh, she, she actually lives with her uh, cousins and her uh, grandpa and grandpa. 
the, the ones that raised her. Got to get her on the podcast, dog. Uh huh. You got to get her on the podcast. She never asked me back that one time. She's like, "Well, what do I got to do?" And I was like, "You just I text." Her. I was like, "You just got to mic up and come out and talk." Come out and talk. And yeah. Never got a message back, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna Are you try to close her. to like any of your, you don't have like much family that you like talk to, huh? Uh, pretty much after my grandmother passes, it's gonna be like the last close family I have. Really? My mom, I mean, ain't close, but she gives me money here. And there. Are you moving into her house when? Yeah. If she does pass, or yeah, I inherit passes, all that. Everybody passes. What? Uh, it's as bad as it sounds. I say it all the time. Like, no, I'm just inevitably because the people are like, well, why don't you buy your own house? I'm, like, I'm just wait until she goes, and then I'm yeah. gonna move in there. You know, it sounds horrible, it's but, <laughs> but I mean, it's just the Dude, way it is. That's like, I mean, There's if no my dad was of, a multimillionaire and he yeah. had a fucking Corvette. There's no like, way of putting it. I mean, when my dad gets a bucket, you know, I'm gonna kill Tristan, Cito, and Steven, and I'm gonna <laughs> get that, that Corvette. Yeah, you know, it's, there's no way a real good way of saying it. But I mean, that's just that's just life, yeah. dude. Yeah, everybody kicks the bucket, man. Well, but no, I'll move in there and. Uh, Get another bar built and everything in there. I already have plans for the house. This is nice, dude. Yeah, uh, Dominic's uncle made this. Armando. Dominic's family is just so amazing. <laughs> he got like that gift too, because that dude just makes like. Where oh yeah, those textures. Shit, yeah, all like, those things. His work ethic his, is uh, like those horseshoes he here, made. That, dude. He made that. I think he made part of that stool that you sit on. No. Uh, I think he said he did. I think he altered it. Because that's why I, I, I asked to borrow that for the podcast. <laughs> I didn't have a second bar stool, you know. Are you paying a dollar, a dollar a day or a dollar an episode? <laughs> I asked him to borrow, and he was like, "Oh no, actually, I had one ready for you too." Yeah, that dude, that dude's Texas signs are super awesome. talented, though. It like super. He does it like. Uh, I'm bored today. I'm gonna go do something. Oh, see, I, I'm like, I'm bored today. I'm gonna go drink off. Oh, I'm gonna go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> That's my board the other day. Because, like, normal everyday life is games for me. Like, and then when I'm bored of that, I'm going to bed or something. Games jerking off and going like, to yeah, bed. Like I said, that game's running right now. <laughs> There's an auto feature. I'm just letting it run while we sit here and do this. Wait, you're, you're actually playing right now? Yeah. Like, your guy's playing? No, uh, the, yeah, those are my characters right there on the, the closest ones to us, and they're fighting another team, and they just keep going. So if you started playing right now, like, what would happen? I can go turn off the auto stuff and then pick the moves manually. What? Yeah. What if they piss you off? What if you go back and everything's just gone because they suck? No, I, I set that team up specifically for that. What if they lose? No, they won't. They. What if they do let's see, glass? They're at Thirty-five out of a hundred battles, and they've won every one of them. Because if they lose, it turns it off. They stop fighting. Oh, they're like, no, we don't want to piss this guy off <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Shut it down right now. That's awesome. What? That's very weird. I don't know if I can get into that, dude. The point of playing a game, I thought, was to, like, play the game. Well, that's after, I've been playing that for three years, so I had to grind at this point for that game. I love it when, see, I love when that. gamers talk that talk. See, I, love I had to grind for that <laughs> shit. <laughs> I bled. No, I spent $6,500 on that game. Is that grinding? Yes, and that game. Well, is. I mean, you had to go work to well, get that, that money. Well, that game, that so, game, it actually is. Because that game, you have to level up your characters. You have to earn the character. Well, you don't even earn the character. You hit, you essentially have to get lucky to get the characters in that game. So, and, or you have to be really rich to spend a lot of money to get the characters. That's another thing I was actually going to ask. Is it, how much money have you dropped on like perks or whatever it's called, like to get ahead? In that game? Yeah. Oh, that, that's the full sixty-five hundred. Because this is one of those games, like, uh, you get a certain amount of energy a day. And then once you use that energy, you can't do anything. So you can buy energy and keep playing. Do you ever, like, think about how much money you've spent? Oh, $25,000 GTA. And then just like, dang, I really could yeah. use that here. I've spent a good uh, $25,000 in GTA 5. I've spent 6500 on this. I've spent upwards of 30 plus thousand on Call of Duty from like Black Ops 2 to now. It's bad. <laughs> <laughs> you need an intervention, dude. Holy shit. Well, well, you I, don't because you're cut, your own. I've like, cut back a lot. You know. I barely spend now. Yeah. Call, I, Call of Duty, I'll buy a skin here and there. That's about it. Now. When you start stealing stuff from Dalton to get ahead, That'll be back. that's <laughs> when I can't make call my own. me and we'll have the intervention <laughs> then. Like, yeah, when I can't just, make my own payments on bills. <laughs> just cut out his kidney and sold it on the black market for a new monitor. Like, oh yeah. my gosh. But no, dude. I, I don't spend money on this game anymore because I've gotten to the point where I don't have but to. But you don't ever think of that? Like, oh, I, dang, I could have bought. But you could be driving like a. See, that's whatever. what I was going to That's you the point I was going to make. Imagine that point they always make you. How much would you, how much money would you have if you never bought cigarettes or you never bought beer? What's your cover at? 
You know, people always make that argument. Well, yeah, have you, that's true. Have you ever heard that story? It would be like a woman telling you, like, how much do you smoke? Yeah. How much do you smoke? Packs oh, five bucks. How, much, how many smoke, uh, packs do you smoke a week? Three or four. Well, that's $15, $20 a week. Okay. How much beer do you drink? Oh, uh, you know, probably like $30 a week worth. How old are you since you've been able to drink? Uh, so you, or you count like 18. Well, that's the thing too. I think about that. Like, yeah, well, people think about dang, that and then they like, tell you that and then they're like, you could have owned uh, you, this house or this car. Okay. Do you smoke? No. Do you well, it's drink? not like you buy it all at once. You yeah. know what I mean? But like, that's what I'm saying. But, but I'm you kind of spend like, how much was like, that was three, uh, the modern, 6,500 and three years. How much do you spend all at once? Like one lump sum to get something. In a game? Like, or, like or the, the monitor itself, the, or like the, the computer was twelve hundred. The uh, monitor that's curved was three hundred. The other monitor was about two hundred. This is not unreasonable when you look at some of the. It, it it isn't, but I'm not into that. You know what yeah. I mean? Like but if I, I, if I was everything into everything that, I'd be. But I didn't buy it that too. I bought the computer. Yeah. And I'm not talking shit. I'm yeah. just saying. I like, bought the computer and the regular monitor for at one time. Monitors. And weak. then I bought the curved monitor a whole separate time. That's like what they have in like the new vehicles today. Like you know how your like console is right there. Oh yeah. That same like looking monitor is the whole damn thing now. <laughs> like your reverse cam is like yeah. you're watching a damn TV. Like it's crazy. What's your next uh, thing after the bike? You're gonna sell it, or you're gonna? I'm gonna sell the bike and be done with them. But I think after I sell the bike, I think after I pay off one of my my loan at the bank, I think I'm gonna trade in that car, or probably keep the car and then save up a little bit of money and go buy it. Is the car running new now? Vehicle. Uh, yes, I put a new battery in it the other day. It's two hundred fucking dollars. It's a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> but now uh, I think after that, I think my next goal is an actual nice vehicle. I've never owned a vehicle with AC. I've never owned a nice vehicle. You remember how we were talking the other day about putting like an AC, like a window oh, yeah. in it? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Like five houses down from me, there's a van. That has And it. he's got like the inverter, whatever they have to have, dude. It's yeah. taped to the back <laughs> of that van, dude. Just shagging wagon, dude. Yeah. Yes. No, I Maybe think probably probably next would be a nice vehicle, though. Oh, man. One thing I wanted to come back to, man, was some of our, dude, some of the shit we did in school. Uh, one memory that always pops in my head is fucking Pondo spearing you off the fucking railing outside the, the fucking field house. I had to stop. <laughs> I had to drop out of track for that because I got hurt. <laughs> so he speared, I'm sitting on the rail just like this. It's like elevated. It's stairs. Yeah, it's stairs. stairs. He's sitting on the rail. He the spears rail. me off. And Paul was a big guy. I go, I land like this, and he lands on top of me. He just, all I hear is like a pop or whatever in my hand, and it's just like, I can't move Could it. Could you like, imagine if that roll of turf wasn't down there? We missed the turf. Oh. We fell, <laughs> it was like the smallest gap, and we like fell in that gap, and it was just like, I had to go, Coach Boogie, he was fucking pissed. He's like, how'd you hurt, hurt how'd you hurt, how'd you hurt yourself? And at first, I told him we were ATVing and stuff. But that was a dumbass lie because we literally just left the field house after working out. Like, he's like, so you just did that like yesterday? I was like, no, like me and Pond were messing around and he he hurt me. <laughs> like it was his fault, me mad at him. He's like, you no. fucking dumbass. He's like, whatever. <laughs> and I had to go tell, I think Coach Sanchez was the throwing coach at the time. And I was like, yeah, I'm hurt. I'm not doing <laughs> this do anymore. It. I'll see you in two days. And luckily, uh, I don't, it was like a like a good sprain. I just couldn't yeah. like move it like how it's supposed to, and that was my throwing hand. So I did discus and shot put, and there was no, no way, way you could do it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. dude, some of the things we did in high school. Like I try to think of some of the ridiculous stories. I know they're there, but some of them just don't want to pop in my head. Well, dude, some people tell me stuff that I've done, and I'm like, what? Like where was that? Where was I at when that happened? I was like you don't remember? I was like no, I got. Brain damage. I, some of uh, mine come back to fucking memory. Didn't you do, uh, maybe I'm mistaken, didn't you do the summer work program with me? I did. Uh, I don't know about it. Was, we were playing wall ball. Wall and, ball yeah. and I kept landing in the one oil bucket. Oh, the, in the only oil bucket room. out of like 5,000 square feet. And we kept and moving it and it kept landing in that bitch. There was oil spots all over the And we were supposed of that to wall. be cleaning the like whole shop. No, remember they came back and they were like, uh, Hey, put these white machines together and we'll be back uh, before That's lunch. Right, yep. And they ne we didn't have no bolts or nothing for it, and they didn't come back until like 2 o'clock? Yeah, I was like, well, we need tools to work on this, so you don't <laughs> just want to play wall ball? Like, yeah, well, let's do we that. We found those panties. <laughs> Remember, we kept making jokes, all oh, these are jackets. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, yeah. 
We can say it now, fuck it. Yeah, yeah we were, Rito. We didn't, yeah, you were getting it off. They were either Rito's was wearing jackies around, or yeah, because Jackie probably didn't wear panties, dog. She's not a panty. She's not a panty girl. I, she's just I, jeans. I, Cause I remember you laughing your ass off the same summer work program. Uh, Pondo and everybody were th uh, were throwing the fucking trash cans and kicking them and everything else, and then I did it once, and then Rito started fucking yelling at me. <laughs> well, that was like bad luck because Nick just also had bad luck when he timing. when when Pondo. We're in the locker room, just me a bunch and, of guys. Yeah, he Pondo, ties his shirt up. I was there doing it too. I had yeah. it tied up, and we were dancing on him. And Coach Shaq walking, what the fuck? Nick made us do it, Coach. <laughs> Nick, you fucking fat. <laughs> no, he's like Nick, you pervert. <laughs> he got mad at Nick for y'all grinding on him. Oh my god, dude. Oh man. What's, he's in like the Marines now, I think. Nick? He's like I a, thought he was a lawyer. He's a well, he's like a lawyer for the Marine. Oh okay. The Marine Corps. Uh, God dang. A lot of stuff happened in that locker. I, I said earlier we didn't, I didn't bully people, I guess. A lot of bullying. There was some bullying when you got in the sports side of it, like Boner, oh, yeah. remember? Oh, put him in the locker, yeah. Brandon, love that dude. I love Brandon. Lance deserved half the <laughs> shit he, 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 that happened. He was a funny dude, though. Have you seen Brandon in them now? No, I have them on Facebook. Dude. Brandon's big boy. Is he really? Like, he was so small. The no, dude was like no, he 90 was a, pounds. He's the same height. Oh my god. But he a big boy. He looks like uh, Boo from Dragon Ball Z, probably. Who? That pink thing, Boo. No, no, no. He looks like Mr. Popo from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, we love you. <laughs> Dang, um, dude. Uh, he... God, you know what? Another day I remember what? was a fucking when all the coaches, all the guy coaches left and the girl coaches were in charge of us and we we're supposed to be out there running and doing shit. And a couple of the guys went and hid in the showers. Yes. And I remember Coach Owens. I was Owen, in on that. Remember Coach Owens coming back and yelling at us? Yes. Dude, hit. You fucking hate <laughs> bitches like what you did. Yeah, he had the highest voice. You can't speak here for one fucking day. We had to do those fish heads for the entire period, dude. And that it was, was the it was worst. Like, they stopped watering the field. And we still had grass oh, at the time. Running and diving, yeah. sliding, that grass just come and Oh, dude, it throat, cut your dude. knees up and dude. everything. It was yes. horrible. It was, it, <laughs> it was bad. Dude, I just remember him yelling, though, walking around, the, doing his little... <laughs> his Ric Flair. <laughs> I got a piss real quick. Dude. Oh, man. Yeah, no, those were some good days, though. <sighs> Which auto tech class did you have with me? The junior or senior year? Uh, dude, I don't remember. Because you went, did you go to the state trip with us, or was that the one you missed out on? No, I, I went on all the auto tech trips. You Not went on all the trips? But all the ones, when I was in auto tech, I went to the auto tech trips. I never failed out or anything. Well, because I remember some people missed out on it because they had UIL or whatever. But I remember that uh, I remember you and me were talking about this the other day. The fucking Zetner daughters. Is that what it's called? The steakhouse. Yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah. It's shut down now. Dude, Sucks. The, I I remember we were talking about that story. Dude, that bill had to be ridiculous. Dude, yeah, they didn't even show us. They wouldn't show us. Oh, I still remember Mr. Box's face when he when Coach Jack slid it over to him. Mr. Box just picked it. I remember he was sitting there and just. And just picked it up like this and just put it down there. Remember that waiter? Uh, would anybody like dessert? And we all just looked at Mr. Boggins and he just, might as well, we're already over. <laughs> and we all got like fried ice cream and shit. When he got it, he just did this and was yeah. like, oof, passed it. <laughs> I think Shaq, no, Mr. Boggins signed off on it. Yeah. He wound up signing off on it anyway. Because they handed it to Shaq first and Shaq looked at it and it slid it to Well, Boggins. Shaq's family came. Remember yeah. his uh, daughters, I think, or something. His daughter and like her husband. <laughs> like, hey, y'all come and eat. <laughs> What do y'all want to eat? We got like I steaks. Still, we got mountains of steaks here. Dude, I still remember that. Well, uh, KC for two, we hit that waiter. He's like, well, it really feeds like three people because it was actually like three steaks for yeah. two. Mm -hmm. It's like it feeds three people generally. Well, let's get a KC for 12. <laughs> it's like 28 steaks. I remember one, one, I, I was roomed with Juan. And did you? How did that happen? I don't know how it happened. I think it was random. Like they just roomed us. Oh, yep. And I remember he was just throwing up all that yeah. night, dude. He threw up so much fucking steak. It was really, I remember all of it. We didn't like, even drink that night, I don't think. No. Right? And just so much food, huh? Yeah, there's so much steak. 
We just stuffed ourselves, dude. I remember all of us were like, I'm never eating steak again. Do you remember when he kicked that guy in the middle of a game? No. And got like, uh, he couldn't play the next game? No, I don't remember that. So, this dude, I think we were playing Van Horn or I don't know, somebody like that. This guy at the end of the play is like doing a, like, kind of like a push up position. He's trying to get up off the ground. Juan. Everybody's watching. We're in the middle of a game. It's like third down. He goes over there and just punches this dude in the chest, flips him over, dude, and just walks away like it never happened. <laughs> Their coaches <laughs> screenshotted that and sent it to, I think Herzer was it at the time, and was like, you got to do something about, about this, this player. Bad. Yeah, and he, he called Juan in the office, and he was like, you got to sit out the next game. Like, this, you just can't do this. I remember uh, you and Pondo, the Van Horn, I think when we played Van Horn, uh, y'all broke that dude's arm. It was his uh, neck. That was Jow. Okay, yeah, that was one of them that broke his dude's neck. I was fullback. That was Jow. I okay, remember that. Okay, yeah, one. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I didn't. I felt bad for him. But, but didn't you go visit him after that or something like that? No, I talked. I asked the uh, the people that hauled him off if he was all right, and they're like, yeah. he's in the hospital. Like, if you want to go see him, I was like, no, it's not that. Well, because I remember <laughs> the reason important. I remember the Van Horn because the Jow one, me and Aaron were in the stand recording. Remember, because we got in trouble for it. When y'all were zooming in on the, the no, that was the yeah, yeah, that was uh, basketball. I thought that was in Jow. No, because I was the, the basketball female manager. The cheerleaders y'all were zooming in Yeah, we were zooming in on the, the cheerleaders, and then uh, we got... Dude. With the fucking game camera <laughs> that's supposed to be we, watching the I remember plays. we watched the, the game the next day, and Coach Jones, we missed the next play, <laughs> the next three plays. <laughs> Somebody had a thing for cheerleaders. <laughs> But no, uh, did you know that we got the, the jowl dude kicked off of his? No, I did not. Yeah, because he was like, hey, I got it. Since there's two of y'all, I got to go to the restroom. Can y'all record for me? And uh, we took his camera and we're like filming our buttholes and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and I ran into him whenever I moved over to jowl. And uh, I introduced myself to him. I just And I was like, oh, you know, I'm Jeremy. So he's like, oh, and I remember you. You remember me? You no. know, like, has how much trouble. <laughs> Like, you know those coaches just, like, delete that. This never happened. Because that's, like, child <laughs> pornography, dude. Like, the FBI would be in jail right now or whenever that was, like, investigating. Oh, like. yeah. Dude, me and Aaron got in so much trouble because uh, they were sitting there doing the Panther power. Me and Aaron, every time they would do it in between, yeah, they would do Panther power. And then me and Aaron would Power Rangers. I remember Aaron was the cameraman, huh? Yeah. He didn't play till like his junior. I think it was his sophomore year whenever I started playing too. Because that was our freshman year. Okay. Yeah, Aaron wasn't really in sports either. Yeah. Well, he was in sports, but not football. But no, because I, I, I didn't get into football till sophomore year yeah. either. Even growing up, like when we started going to junior, we did Pee Wee. Like yeah. there was a Pee Wee group. It was me, Pondo. Uh, we tried to get Corey. Uh, see, Riley, Hollis. We played together like for years dude yeah. like since second grade up to 10 years we literally played 10 years of football together that's crazy second grade to freaking 12th grade i think that's how much 12th grade right that's senior year yes 12th it's hard to think that was fucking 11 years ago no it was not yes it was no 2013 it's 2022 or no <laughs> It'll be, this guy. it'll be 11 years ago next year, but or something like that for graduation. <laughs> God, it's 2022 22. right now. Yeah. We graduated in 13. 10 years will be 2023. What am I thinking? Oh, okay. Right. I know what I'm thinking of. I remember seeing a Coach Hands' award on Facebook for 11 years. That's what I was thinking oh, of. Okay. So I remember I was sitting there. There's no, he ain't been there for that long. <laughs> oh, my God. Because when you think in your head, like, there ain't. He ain't been there that long, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, we graduated that we're long gonna, Yeah, next year actually will be our 10-year uh, little reunion thing, and I don't even know if we'll do it. Our class never did anything. You know that? Like, we all we did was party together. Like, See, we were close. Like, our, I loved our class, dude. See, and uh, that's one thing I wanted to bring up, too, what's crazy to me, was as much as I drink now, I never drank with y'all in high school. Yeah, you really didn't. I didn't drink with y'all until graduation night at the McKenzie's. Yeah. I, Isaac didn't drink with us much either until, I guess, I remember him drinking like when JT came, and JT just ruined all of us. This is his fault that we were bad kids. But really, it's crazy. I didn't drink till I was 17. The first time I ever got drunk was at age 17 with really? Pondo in them. I remember fourth or like fifth grade. I think the first like full beer I had was with Hollis, and we stole a Miller Lite out of his dad's chest. Uh... Ice chest, mm -hmm. and that one beard did us in, dude. Like, our <laughs> day did me in. Like, 
Yeah, no, my first time drinking was with Pondo and Gabriel. Uh, it was when I was living with that Sean guy. Gabriel. <gasps> I forgot about Gabriel, dude. I missed that dude. Oh, What's he's doing, he doing? He's doing good. He lives in, uh, I know, Odessa with his mom, but he's working at an electric company over there with uh, my buddy Brandon. Pruitt? Yeah. He's the one that was on the podcast last, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, and uh, that was the first time I ever got drunk. It was at a dude's house named Cheddar Bob in Kermit. I heard of Cheddar Bob, yeah. Dude, man, I remember it. Uh, was he the oh, one that died? Huh? Was he the one that died? No, no that was uh, Willie. Willie was the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Willie was there. How did he die? Uh, car wreck. Of course, around. And, uh, yeah, no, because uh, Greg was there, too. Pondo? And uh, I remember... Before he was... Crippled. Crippled? Yeah. Uh, I remember uh, Greg had a bottle of Wild Turkey American Honey in the freezer. It was my first time drinking. I'd just gone through a breakup, too, so I was super extra sad. And, uh, was, hey, can I have some of that? Oh, and that American Honey was going down so fucking smooth. Oh, it's very good, but and, you'll uh, wake up and... I remember Greg trash Greg game. was running the table all night with Willie playing beer pong. So he wasn't really paying attention. I was back there fucking pounding that shit away. I remember he finally got off the table and he went in there. There was like this much left in the bottle. And he was like, who the fuck drank all my... And I remember like, just, this is probably like one of the last things I remember that night. They were like, oh, glass. And they, he pointed at me and I was like fucking like on the table, like, just smiling at him. He just started laughing. As long as it's glass, I don't care. <laughs> You got away with so that's <laughs> pisses me off. You got away with so much stuff, even in high school, dude. Like you would just get away with like it's glass. Eh, I don't want to fuck with it. Like, <laughs> like it's bullshit. Like if I did it or if Isaac did it or somebody did it, swats go to the office. Like I, I never got swats and wink. I got swats all the fucking time. I can dude. tell you how many I had in Kermit my seventh grade year. One hundred and seventy-eight. Because I got so bored, I started counting the motherfuckers. That's how often I was in the office in Kermit for getting bullied. That's almost abuse. <laughs> 180 would have been abuse. And uh, <laughs> two more. Uh, but yeah, in Wink, I only got ISS ever once, and I never had detention. I'd never got in trouble in Wink. I never got detention during football season because it was never worth it. Like, I would, I would make sure I went to practice. I would even skip detention if I had to because it was literally worse. Like, I'd rather just take swats anytime I could, but if they made me go to detention, if I had practice, I'm going to practice. I still can't remember what I got ISS for in week. I think it was because me and Hartley was skipping. I got it for getting on the roof. Were you there when we got on the school roof? No, I, I always wanted to get on the roof. I never did. So where the gymnasium was, that big old, like, it was, I think it was an air conditioner or something. There was a little dip in the bricks or whatever. Mm -hmm. And we would just climb up there, and that's the way you get up there. And we got caught up there by Miss White, I think, or something like that. We, we got a six-pack. We were, like, uh, freshmen or something, <laughs> so eighth grade. We had got somebody to buy us a six-pack that was $60 or whatever. Like, hey, here's 60 You know how it was. You get, here's, oh, or yeah. maybe you don't if you didn't start drinking to 17 oh, no, You, you I, give I, older I, people $60. I know how it is because people have They'll give you a six-pack, yeah. yeah, and they'll keep the rest. <laughs> like, damn, that's an expensive six-pack, but we're so young, we didn't care. And we were just up there on the school roof drinking, and we were coming down, I think, and Miss White saw us. And do you remember what I used to do in school? Uh, I would Everything? still. I used to steal Pat cigarettes and sell them to Josh Milligan. No, because she would always keep a carton. Uh, she well, she'd keep like three or four cartons in the freezer at the house, and I would take like two or three packs, and I'd sell them to Josh for like ten dollars a piece. <laughs> I had I smoked my first cigarette in this house, <laughs> like in like in this back room. Is that back room still here? Yeah, right there. Right here. That door right, that right there. Right yeah. there. Holy I was never allowed in there either. Like I said, this was his grandpa's room, so yeah, I never could come in here. But dude, there's actually a lot of firsts in this house when Josh was here, like, and they all ended bad. <laughs> it, was, it was fun, but it never ended up good, dude. Oh my gosh. But the one thing you never thought you'd be in Josh's grand grandpa's room. No, a this was a, the no-no room. Like, if you go in here, he's gonna he's a fucking World War II vet. Like, you're gonna Dalton has like one of his helmets out there. Yeah, in the shop. you'll get a fucking bayonet to the neck or some shit. <laughs> like, we didn't come in here, dude. Like, oh, man. we were so bad too. We didn't mean to do this, but we had fireworks one time, dude. And we sent him into an episode. We were doing fireworks at Corey's house. Corey lives right there yeah. next to you. Like, literally, literally the window like, right like there. window, a little bit of yard fence. Yeah, we were, like, at the edge of the street popping fireworks, and we had no idea he was going through an episode until, like, the next day or something. Someone <laughs> told us. We're like, fuck, that sucks. Oh. I felt, we all felt bad, dude. So we would just go, like, further down the street. Like, that fucking yeah. helped. But... <laughs> Yeah, no, dude, there was so much stupid shit we used to do. Uh, I think I mentioned this with Isaac. Remember I took the uh, gas mask out there to the fucking uh, auto tech trip and we're riding on the golf cart with the gas mask just staring at people? <laughs> Did you get a fake tattoo with us? 
No, I didn't. I not, not at the auto tech trip? Yeah, no. where me and, did you remember me and Josh got them? The henna tattoos? I don't know if I was in auto tech that year. Oh, maybe you weren't. I don't think you were actually. Because I had the bull on my shoulder and the bull skull. Nope. And Coach Shaq come I walking up to us on the fucking beach, pissed. Remember Coach Shaq's rule was, was nobody get fucking tattoos because yeah. he got that one uh, teacher before him got them. Yeah, that'll get your ass fired. And uh, I had the fake ones right here, and I talked with this with Isaac. And, that, and oh, you saw the van come to like a dead stop on that fucking beach, and you just see Mr. Gray and Coach Shaq all the way fucking down to us until he and I was the closest one to him so he grabbed my fucking arm and started looking at it he saw there was like no red or nothing like that spit on it and wiped it off <laughs> well he saw there was no red so he knew it wasn't yeah. real it's like I thought these were fucking real y'all stupid asshole like yeah he was cussing and that were was the best thing about them getting that wreck? Like that I missed that part oh my god dude that was so awful uh, I think me and like Josh Ryder were playing video games yeah. or something they just had like we were following them we were just stalking yeah. their ass me, Steven, Hollis, and maybe Dom. I don't. I don't remember. In the golf cart, right? In the golf cart, just following them. Probably. Yeah, and they like hit somebody, and uh, they're no. The, the the dude hit them. Remember? In the back or something yeah. like that. Somebody. It was just a collision, and we're like, oh my god! I think they just hit that guy. The guy gets out of his car. He's like, y'all all right? And then Coach Jack and Mr. Gray stumbling out of the car, like, yeah, yeah I just came we're from good. a tour of the yeah, beer like, factory. I had my foot on the brake and the gas. Because <laughs> I remember them telling us the story at the restaurant. Yeah. Remember? Because we were eating at that like fancy like Blue Well restaurant or whatever. Yeah, it's called. yeah, Moby Dicks, dude. Yeah, Moby Dicks. Yeah. And fucking, yeah. I remember they slapping the table. He had his gas foot on the gas and the brake at the same time. They had no idea we were behind them, too. Like, we were just hiding, like, oh, my God, dude, they just got... You know what I remember about that restaurant, too? The whale's mouth. Well, that. <laughs> Dom taking an oyster and didn't like it, so he put it back in the thing and set it down. And we were out of oysters, and Juan Hawkins is like, no, there's no more oysters. And saw that one. Yeah, there is. And <laughs> took that one. That is gross. <laughs> oysters uh, are good, but you know not what I remember too? from... Remember that fucking bill the last day we had there? Where we went way the fuck over budget? We always did that. No, do you remember this one, though? We went way over budget because we were at the restaurant, and they had a $30 appetizer, but it came with, like, a little bit of everything, and the table was really long. Coaches were way over here in the back against the wall. I think your group was in the middle, and it was, like, me, Dom, and, like, somebody else at the end. But we ordered it for the whole table. Yours group didn't hear us, so y'all ordered it for the whole table. And Coach right. Shaq and them didn't hear nobody, so they ordered it for the whole ninety dollars just appetizers. <laughs> That's not even the meals we had. We can't afford it. That'll be all right. Because I, I remember that because they were like, uh, "Well, I guess on the way back we ain't stopping at that barbecue place. We're gonna stop at McDonald's." <laughs> Those, those trips were the best because it was literally just going to, like, Fuck you would off. take a stupid, like, starter and just, like, Dude, I still remember, because like, it was you, me, and Hollis in a group. Didn't do it. Because I remember yeah. Coach Jack, hey, take the starter apart and put the new pieces in. Okay. And we took it apart and didn't know what to do from there. <laughs> Coach Jack, did y'all get the, that starter put back together? But we took it apart, but we couldn't figure out how to put it back together. Next day, he came in, handed us a camera and a folder. Here, make it look like y'all did it. <laughs> Taking pictures. <laughs> yeah. I remember we had like Hollis with like the full gloves and the goggles on, sitting there with like a wrench that obviously didn't fit this bitch. <laughs> Still so he's made got a one state. inch crescent. <laughs> one inch. That's crazy, dude. Still oh made it to state. Because <laughs> oh. we, we would go there, we go to the convention that we're supposed to be for like multiple days. We go the first day, walk around, take pictures, look at everything. There was cool shit there. Oh yeah. And then go eat. Dude, I, people would literally like give their heart and soul for oh, that. Like dude, put they so went much beyond, effort into I believe, it. the tables, the fucking like rebuilding whole fucking trucks. I I stayed in the wood like work oh, dude, section. I, like when they built my the old chairs Facebook and the still has all the stuff, pictures dude. from that trip, dude. It was dude, you really? Yeah, on my one of my older Facebooks. So I went around take, taking pictures. I deleted my Facebook, but I wish I would have saved a lot more of those photos. I had That's the only reason I keep my Facebook around. Because I, I tried to go through, I was like, oh, maybe Wayland still has one because I was going to go through your Facebook, see if there's any topics I wanted to bring up and I couldn't find anything. I know, I don't have, I deleted it. Everything I couldn't find one for you, YouTube. I couldn't find one for Sam, I couldn't find nothing. Yeah, no, we all, we got off. It's just too much, dude, like I bullshit. just use it for watch videos. That's what, yeah. That's the only thing I use it for is the entertainment value. I just YouTube it now. Yeah. And YouTube, I'll never get rid of YouTube because it's like, if you need to work on something at the house, it's like oh, it's how to. Just send, and then you it's can just, find whatever you want on there, yeah. For everything, dude. Everything. Like, if I wanted to fix this key fob, like. You could figure out it. Yeah, yeah, anything, dude. One like, thing I was going to bring up about the auto tech. Do you remember Coach Shag used to hate having me in that seventh period? 
he hated the, having you in there? Because remember, our bathroom schedules lined up, and he'd always get pissed off because I was in there taking the shit. Your hour long, or your whole period long. Yeah. I oh, just I'm told still... everybody was, you were going through puberty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I still take shits like that. Do you really? Yeah. And see, uh, actually, this into that other topic. Yeah. Tell so, them what, how you take shits. They think it's completely outlandish and weird. It and we is very somewhat got up. into this the other day, and I said, we'll save it for the podcast. It's inappropriate. That's what it is. I take shits naked. Like, I have to be comfortable. Like, if I went to this restroom right now, I'm taking my boots off, I'm taking my pants off, I'm taking my socks off, taking my shirt off, and I'm taking a shit. Like, why? That's the, I can't get enough, especially in pants. I can't get enough spread in my leg. <laughs> spread in my leg. <laughs> get enough spread in my leg. <laughs> I don't know, what, like, I have to take shits naked. Oh. That's the only way I can get comfortable. Has it been like that for, like, ever? Like, since like you the can last, remember? like, two years. Oh, it's just, just like recent. It's like a recent thing. Like, I think it, it was, was like very one, weird. I think it was one of the times. Like, see, I was assuming since you, t- I did. We talked about this last week. I think, like in high school, you were doing no. this. Like, <laughs> no, no, no. no I school. was like, glad, can I go to the restroom? Like, I was just thinking last week. Like, this motherfucker was <laughs> butt ass naked in the high school taking a shit. No, like, no, no. no oh, okay. It was one of those things. I think it started either at Ratliff, or I, yeah, I think it was Ratliff. Cause no AC in the bathroom at Ratliff. I think it was one of those things. It was just so fucking hot. I would just strip down naked, so I'd be cool while taking a shit, and it just stuck. Just like this is a. I have so much leg room right now. <laughs> it was nice. Have you ever like went to the restroom and like, I don't know, at somebody's house or like at a place, and the wall is like right there, and you're basically touching the wall because the toilet's so close to the wall. Is that's that how this is? Yeah. It's oh, right so there against the door. So you like, you, yeah, you kind of like got to like turn. turn like you're, bit, yeah. you're shitting facing a, this a, way. Kind of a, and the toilet is yeah. this way. Yeah, yeah. Those are the worst, man. But yeah, no, because we even talked about this. Because y'all were wondering about like uh, public restrooms. That's the only time I don't yeah. get full naked. But public, I'm taking my shirt off. Porta potty. Take my shirt off. Porta potty, I'm actually probably getting naked. Or at least like one leg coming out. Out on like a location 110 degrees. Oh, uh, 110 degrees. I'm butt ass naked and that door staying open. <laughs> or cracked? No, open. I'm putting a rock in front of that bitch. <laughs> and if y'all want to look, y'all can look. If not, go about your day. That's so wild, Glass. I don't know why. It's just, like I said, even in public restaurant, I gotta take my shirt off. I hate clothes. Clothes are the most restricting thing in the world to me. If I could, I was telling Dom this the other day when he was here. Uh, if I could go. Everywhere shirtless, I would. If I could just not have to wear a shirt, also Robertson's, the dollar store, I would never wear a fucking shirt. You just need to move to Port Aransas then. It would be a beach bum. <laughs> beach bum. Mm-hmm. Oh, and um, the only f- clothing I've ever found comfortable bathrobes. I love bathrobes. You just have your robes that you got? And you have a fur coat or something? I have shit? a bathrobe in there. I have a giant fur coat in the room in there, yeah. It's too hot to wear that now. But. Yeah, the fur coat, yeah. Bathrobe too, but. It's I stupid, dude. Thing. I remember you and Pondo, I think, did a video on your... Yeah. When you were in the camera, We wore the right? fur coats and we did the mead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How was that mead? Oh, mead's good. I got some. What? What is it? Yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's try that. Mead is... I just watched that video, okay. actually, like two weeks ago. So you know how they make wine? Yeah, I watched... Remember that... Hold on. Remember that video of that girl that was squishing the wine with the, the grapes? Feet, yeah. She's like, ow, oh, ow, oh, ow. Oh. <laughs> you never seen that one? <laughs> that she has. falls off. Dude, it's so great. Anyways, continue. Sorry. Mead is just wine, but instead of made with grapes, it's made with honey. Oh, dude, I love honey. It, it, do you like wine, but like think it's too uh, rotten fruit tasting? No, I like well, you know, it depends. Some I don't wine. like dry like, wine. You know those wines that you like taste the fluid out your mouth. It feels like yeah. I hate that. The mead is like a sweet. You may not like it. No, I think mead you'd like. I don't think it's too sweet. Nordic honey wine with hibiscus and hops added. Donsk. I don't even, I'm not even going to say that. What the fuck was that? Was it your phone? Yeah, that was my phone. I was like, what the fuck? My, none in my house does that. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure this is still recording. They're listening, dog. I'm going to try this. Yeah, go ahead, man. I'll take a swig with you. It's good. Just drink it out here? Yeah, you just drink it out of that. The Vikings did it. I mean, I'm sure we'll be fine. <laughs> We're a little softer than the Vikings, glass. That's very good. I like mine cold, but yeah. Oh yeah, I mean room temperature meat is. That's generally not how the they best, drink it. But it is today, good. Yep. Yeah. Dude, that's what I'm saying. We're so soft today. It's like. Oh, that's good, man. I forgot about that. That's actually like cold, probably back in the day. Oh yeah. I mean, you got this AC going. That's so. 19 percent. Yeah, I saw that. It's pretty good. It's good. I like it.
Yeah, Benny. Hey, Jeremy. What's up? We got a night in between Wheat and Kermit, man. I've been drinking already. Oh, that's okay. No, it's not. I'm not about to drink and drive. <laughs> I got you covered. Not really. You already started drinking? Oh, yeah. I've been I'm in the middle of a podcast right now, actually. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. All right, man. All right, you're good. I don't want to fucking work. Fuck that fat bitch. I hate that dude. Wait. What, who was that? A supervisor. Is that dude from Jal or what? Why you just boss it? You're gonna just boss your supervisor no. around? Like, no, I'm fucking going in. Well, it's an assistant supervisor, but still. <laughs> Were you supposed I'm to not, go in? No. Like, are you on call? I'm not on call. Well, then why is he calling you? Because nobody else is around. Well, the other two guys are like out of town, and I guess the the one that's on call is the supervisor, and then one of the other guys. So the, imagine the one guy answered, but the supervisor <laughs> never answered his calls. So. Okay, I was. I thought you were like supposed to go. I'm like, no, fuck you. <laughs> it's no. Jow High School all over again. <laughs> no, the supervisor, the actual supervisor, never calls me in the week because he knows I'm drinking. He just uh, doesn't even bother anymore. That guy, he he just got the the position of assistant supervisor, so he's just trying to. So awesome. if you wanted to go in right now, like, would you get comp time? Oh yeah, if I went oh, in right okay. now, I'd get comp time. But fuck that. I'm so drinking. if nobody else is answering and you said go fuck yourself, <laughs> too bad. What is it, a wreck? Yeah. He just oh, said there's a wreck between Wheat and Kermit. Let me just make sure that wasn't uh, anybody, what that text was. Email. Okay, no. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> just make sure. Hey, just You'll go. You'll never know, man. I was like, because I have, like, the vehicle, so. <laughs> I'm going check in on my, <laughs> check in on the wife, make sure she's all right. <laughs> I literally thought you were like, I'll go like, no, fuck you. I've been drinking, dude. Like, I ain't going into work. Yeah. Dude, call- I need to work or you work. He called me yesterday, like, right after we got off. And I was like, I'm cleaning because I was cleaning the house. I didn't want to be dirty when you came over. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm cleaning the house. He's like, that's all right. He's the same thing. That's all right. And it was for, like, a yield sign down. And I was like, just call the dudes that live in Kermit. I'm not driving back to fucking Kermit for a yield sign. <laughs> you might edit that out. Fuck that. They don't know where I work. Well, no, 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 no. Like, for, he, like, his sake. He don't watch Well, I guess, shit. yeah, they don't know. They well, don't like, know. if, because you said, Benny. hey, I've been drinking. No, so. And he's like, so? That's all right. No. Like, oh, you, we been, just promoted this guy that's okay with his guys going out for, drinking. He's been there for 34 no, years. I'm, yeah, just whatever. He needs a fucking retire, dude. I can't stand that fat fuck, dude. Tell me how you really feel, Glass, about this guy. This dude right here. Benny, Mr. Benny. We'll call this, him Benny this is a This is a drunken bastard. We'll just call him a fat fuck. Uh, so being the jet, it's also if you fine. saw him, you know exactly. If you walked into my office and looked around, you'd know exactly who I was talking about. So, this dude, he's been there for like 34 fucking years, and he talks about how hard he's he used to always work doing signs and other stuff. This motherfucker ain't done shit. He's a typical god complex dude. He's related to a bunch of successful people, so he thinks his family's successful, even though every single one of them I've talked to and met, we don't claim that fucker. He's related to Pondo. He missed Pond, uh, fucking Pondo's mom. Like, oh, we did not claim him as family. No. Really? And, he, dude, he, I can't stand this motherfucker. I've almost gotten a fight with him out on the side of the road one time. Like, shirt off, threw a hard hat at him, about to fight this fat fuck. Were you taking a shit? Is that why your shirt was off? No. <laughs> <laughs> he just beat his ass, and you're going to take a shit on him? Like, nope. I'm going to get naked first and then shit on you. <laughs> but, no, it, it's bad. Like, I can't stand that. He needs her fucking retired. He's been there for 34 years. He's just holding a spot doing nothing. That's still a long time to be at, like, one spot. That's awesome. I bet his retirements will be pretty good, right? If he had a retirement left, he took everything out of his 401k to fix his house and shit, so he's practically fucking broke. Depends how awesome you fix your house up. No. Like, let's say you took all your 401k, drained it out, but you he got lives a right pool. Across, he, he lives right across from Manny. Who? Uh, Manny's dad. He lives right across the street from Manny Rivas. Like, Caddy Corner. It's a shitty house. Oh, where Eddie Wicker used to live? I don't know, like, oh, okay, uh, so, so here, in them okay, so here's Manuel's house. Yeah, uh, right across from that. Cat, catty corner to the right. Was, uh... Right across the street is that house they've been working on for, like, blue? the last four years, and then right next to it, it's got, like, a white tin fence, a green yard, and I don't know what color the house is. Yeah, I remember Eddie used to live in that house, so it just has to be the one next to his. Yeah, it's got to be the one next to it. Yeah, no, he lives over there. It ain't, it ain't that nice of a house. <laughs> he's always complaining about issues he's having with it. <laughs> If, are you going to be a supervisor one day? No. Really? Why? I like where I'm at. Nice, simple, just glide under the radar. If they came up to you and was like, hey, Benny just died? No. 
<laughs> Too much responsibility. Would you go to his funeral? No. <laughs> I, would you send flowers? No. <laughs> I think I'm going to waste some money on that. You know how much flowers are nowadays? Wondering. You know how much flowers are nowadays? Oh, uh, yeah. Like, Fucking expensive. A hundred and like something, yeah. I, I remember one of, one of the last oh, dates I just. one of the last dates I went on. I went to get flowers from the current flower shop. And they were like, yeah, they'll be ready at like 3.30. They're, they're $40. And uh, I stopped at Lowe's for something, and they had flowers there for $12. I just picked those up, never called the current place, and just went on with those. $40 flowers. I would kill for some $40 flowers that were actually like decent, like nice. But Kermit's got their uh, Mary's flowers. They do a pretty good job. They do on, a good job, like the bouquets it's just and fucking stuff. Fucking expensive. Too. And oh stuff. yeah. Well yeah. Well they also deliver too. So like, and it's still fucking expensive. Glass. Yeah, that's true. Everything's expensive nowadays too. I don't know flowers. I just don't see the point in them. They're fucking plants. It's smelling like a freight train right now. Is it good? You good with this? Yeah, I'm so, fine with it. I sure? guess I got mine over here, too. What are you smoking on? Uh, these are Al Capone Slims. They're uh, cigarillos that are rum dip. Oh! Cigarillos. Yeah, they're rum dip. They're like a sweet. Huh. I love me a good cigar. I've never had those. I've had the cigarillos, like the you want, single ones you that you, like, you like cut that? out and then you put your weed in there. No more? Nah, if it's sweet, oh. It's, it's, sweet. They, it's, it's, only like sweet. it's only sweet when you lick your lips. I do that all the time. So you only get the taste then. Hmm. But, but yeah, no, I like those. Uh, I don't have any good cigars right now. Dominic bought me a Maker's Mark one, I guess, sitting up there. But I don't have any of the any of the good ones I bought. I think I smoked all of them recently. What's your favorite go-to cigar? Like, you have a brand? There is one. I've smoked it plenty of times. I could never remember the fucking name of it. I just remember what it looks like in its package and that. But I can never remember the fucking name of it. And I can't find the motherfucker anymore. My favorite, the motherfucker's like this goddamn long. That's the worst when you love something and you can't find it. And I have talked to so many so people like the like, like cigar aficionados. Mm -hmm. And I cannot, they, like, they've looked for it. They can't find it. They can't figure their name. Some of them told me that like, it's probably like one that got discontinued. Probably. It's not around anymore. They used to sell it at the Hemingway. That's why I always go back there just to see if they have it. The Hemingway, have you ever went in there just to chill out in the lounge? Oh, I and love stuff? it. Have you been there since? Well, they. The, I went and they closed. They had the sign like, yeah, it closed. Yes, it's like or temporarily whatever. closed or yeah. something. I just just barely found out they had that like a bar a few in months ago did you know they had a bar in now yeah it was like a lounge like no they, no, no they like, got a full bar now like a full fucking like bar and like restaurant area but i haven't been but I yeah no go. they've been closed every time i go by they're closed it's been like six months now so i don't even know if they're gonna open back up probably not and the other cigar shop in Vesta fucking sucks which i don't i wouldn't think like this area has a lot of people that go in like places like that i guess Ooh. you'd be surprised One, i gotta fucking piss you I broke the fucking... Broke the seal, yeah. dude. That's the worst. Well, I drank a bunch of water before you came over, too. Yeah, I drank water this morning. Knowing that I was going to come over here. I planned on getting fucked up tonight, so... Dude, I got fucked up last weekend. I can't hear anything he's saying right what? now. What? Pretzels, dude. Damn. Fancy. But no, what I was saying was I got fucked up last weekend. Like I came home. Came in here with a. <laughs> what? I got fucked up last weekend. Uh, I came home last weekend, right after leaving Isaac's. Uh, after you left, we started playing three man. Oh god. And uh, I got three man for like three rounds. Did you see how many fucking people were there? Yeah. It's when it when it's more than like four people, I don't want to play three man. Oh dude, it's it was so it bad. was horrible. I got stuck for like three rounds, and I you can ask Isaac and them. I was the only motherfucker not cheating my drinks. I downed like three cans before I finally got out. And uh, that's why I do the 10 shot rule. So I'll tally up my drinks. Oh yeah, then take the 10, 10 drinks, just take one shot. I didn't want to take shots. And uh, I ended up coming home. Those are the biggest ice cubes I've ever seen in my life. I have bigger ones. <laughs> but no, I, I came home and I went to bed and I thought I was fine because I walked home that night. Uh, Fucking, and I, I got to bed. I went to sleep and everything. And you know, oh man, I made it home. I'm good. I'm going to bed. I woke up like three hours later. 
And I went in there and I filled that entire fucking tub up with puke. Ew. And it looked horrible. It was like. It Does looked, it drain well? Yeah, it, it, you can. I took the fucking drain out. <laughs> I, I was sober enough to plan ahead. And, uh, dude, it was horrible. And the fucking, I ended up sleeping on the bathroom floor butt ass naked. Oh, that yeah, night. dude, I've been there. I, I love not getting that drunk anymore. I finally, like, a couple years ago, probably now, like, realized, like, it's just not worth it. Anymore. Oh, I love it still. Like, I love it. I hate being, because you wake up the next day, like, that was not even worth it. Like, I had a good time. I don't remember most of it. And I like feel like shit my only thing that i'm scared about is i want to piss somebody off that i don't want to piss off like I've you been there. Isaac that's, or somebody that's like that. the worst thing that is that i rather have yeah that pain than i've been there when you're just like dang you made an ass of yourself like that's that's the worst yeah that, like that, that post nut syndrome thing <laughs> but well, post but, post drunkenness syndrome. well see like i mean isaac talked about this uh that shit i pulled over at aaron's house with the nazi flag no, not that. That was that was just funny. Oh, <laughs> it was. <laughs> no, uh, whenever I threw the drink in uh, Dominic's girlfriend's face. When did that happen? Uh, when Aaron was living in Odessa with that one chick. The, uh, the, the girl he has now? No, no, oh. before. Was like his baby mama? No, not the one he has now. The one from before. Oh. I never met this one. Uh, they should walk, walk me through you throwing. Okay, so an remember Dominic's ex, uh, Mason? Yep. Madison, whatever her name was. Mason. She was a fucking cunt. We know that. Is that the one he threw? Yes. Oh, hell yeah, and, uh, dude. <laughs> nice. Well, what happened was... Uh, she took a shit on her. We were... <laughs> I'm not Amber Heard. <laughs> we were... She does uh, the bed. We were Somebody playing hitting? some games or something, and I was pretty fucked up. I was drinking absinthe uh, with root beer, and I had it in a big old yellow dickies cup absent what's that absent it's a like a the, the, the shit they always talk about from like europe the the green drink with the green fairy that makes you hallucinate no no okay. never heard about it <laughs> do you uh, have that i don't think i have any right now I uh trip balls right now it, it doesn't make you trip uh, uh but anyway i had that in a big old in a big old dick, dickies cup uh-huh and uh she kept arguing with me something it was something that like you know i 100 percent know like it was something like I've studied before. I can't remember what it was, but it was something I'd studied and I knew for a fact that I was Great. right. And she kept arguing that I was wrong and wrong. Even Dominique got to the point, like, I looked at Dom, he's like, and he gave me that look, like, I know you're right, but you know what am I supposed to say to her? It's my girlfriend. And uh, tell her she's wrong. After a little bit of her, just she just kept egging it and egging it. wasn't an argument. And in my head, I'm like, I can't hit this bitch because I don't hit women. And then I took a drink. I took a sip of my drink. Right. Well, yeah. If they throw hands, if they <laughs> just if they throw hands with me, I'm gonna throw hands back Fair nowadays. Good. But I took a I took a sip of my drink, and about the time I'm like, well, I can't hit her. I can throw this drink in her face. And I'm talking like a you know how big a Dickies cup is. Oh yeah. Right in her fucking face, and uh, then I just got up and went to the restroom to go piss. We're gonna see Dom after this. I'm gonna definitely talk about this again. Dom, remember? Dom, I slightly remember. Dom, a, someone saying something. About Dom that? didn't swing on me or nothing. Aaron hit me in the back of the head because I just. I bet Dom was like, yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Do it but again. No, Aaron hit me in the back of the head uh, because I mean I just fucking threw it like a thirty-two. Ounce, yeah, because I just sorry threw, for dropping your last name. I just threw a thirty-two ounce drink all over his fucking floor. Obviously. Oh yeah, it was his place. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. And I uh, the same. Right whenever he hit me, I turned around and went into fight mode. Josh and Dom got between us and held us apart. Bradford? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I keep dropping last names, but it'd be all right. And uh, these guys. And then, yeah, no, I mean, after that, I got pissed off, and I rode my back, my bike back from Odessa at, like, 120 miles an hour drunk as shit. <laughs> I don't know how I made it home that night. Your motorcycle, motorcycle yeah. 120 miles an hour here. All the way back from Odessa. Drunk. Drunk as shit. It's a wonder you're still alive, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> I, I thought that shit too. Yeah, no. Uh, there is a God. Goddess. And um, me and Isaac was talking about because Isaac heard about that, you know. Uh, but uh, in high school, I never really interacted with Isaac too much. And then out of high school, I never had it until like recently. Yeah. And he was telling me he was like, no, he was like, I heard of this, and you know, I thought in my head, I was like, that that just don't sound. Like, that sounds like a, a dude I don't want to be around. That just sounds like an asshole, you know. <laughs> and then uh, Isaac and Corey came over one time to uh, drink with Noah, uh, his brother at the camper. Uh huh. And uh, Noah told him, like, no, Jeremy's not like that. You know, he's actually a pretty nice guy and stuff, which I am. It was just I had some bad moments. Yeah. And, we all uh, do. We all do. After Isaac and Corey drank me, they both pretty much came to the consensus. Like, no, no, Jeremy's They not. drank you? Drank me. 
<laughs> do you remember in high school me doing this to you all the time? Oh my god, dude, this is like nothing's changed. <laughs> After they drink, but, but they came to the consensus that uh, you know that wasn't that bad of a dude, and that's when they started inviting me over to Hollis's and stuff like that, little things like that. Until like now, it's just normal. They yeah. everybody's getting together to drink. They invite me, so dude, it, I it's nice. Me and him go way, way back. Like that was probably I think that was my first friend here. Mm -hmm. Him and my Wonder. cousin Chris, because mm -hmm. he was here. Yeah. Oh yeah, he, he was. You remember? You know? Yeah, I remember Chris, Chris. Luna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I Dude, I still I, I vaguely remember going to his house in Andrews. Like every time. When did I, you ever go there? His house is like right before you get into Andrews, yeah, right? Yeah, big like old mansion looking yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah, I remember going there with you. It was you, me, Chris, and then I remember like his little brothers or something like that. Yeah. They were being Andrew super Tyler. annoying. My cousin. Uh, Respect. I can't remember what we went. We went for a church thing or something. I went over there with you for a church thing. I can't remember what the fuck it was for, but I remember, because I remember I used to go to church with you all the time. In Did my we go head. to church camp or something? No, it wasn't a camp. Uh, it might have just been one of those fun days that we just went. Yeah, I can't the, remember, but I remember going to church with you all the time. But yeah, no, uh, I remember him and stuff, and I, I every time I slightly, I'm going in Andrew, I'm like, is that it right there? It's like, I think that's it. Yeah, no, as soon as you, like, where that white right where it splits, yeah. Yeah, it's that, okay, the yeah. only big old white house you can see in there. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, I remember that, and, uh, dude... Pondo, like I said, Pondo was my first friend in Wink. Oh, yeah. I, I remember telling this on Isaacs was literally, like I said, I looked at you and Pondo. I was like, those two are going to be the big fat bullies. And the first class I had was Miss Shaq's computer class. Got sat right next to Pondo. I'm like, oh, it's already going to fucking start. And then I just remember Pondo reaching over, tit flipping me. Hey! <laughs> and then... That's what and I said, hi, back in the day. The, the first thing <laughs> that went through my head, I was like, the school's full, full of a bunch of faggots. <laughs> And instantly best friend since so. You weren't wrong, dude. <laughs> I said, we were was, all a little gay. It was such a different vibe from Kermit, man. But it was such a... Like, it was I, like laid back, kind of yeah. like... That's why I loved our class so much. And our class was not like another class. Like, not that we were better, but like we got along like most of... Like, we have our instances, I think, with like Haley was like... Remember Haley? Well, favorite? see, I was best friend with Haley. Like, well... If there was like an issue with our grade, it would be f like she would start an issue. Like, see the one I couldn't. Everybody else kind of. See the one I couldn't stand was Rainy. I hated fucking Rainy. Oh yeah, a lot of people didn't like her. Dude, she's yeah. just so stuck up. See, I didn't see that side of her, but I definitely could see why people would like say that. Mm -hmm. I guess because that's all I I, th I heard people say that all the time. Exactly what you. Just I said. guess if you're not in the the group, she the was group, super yeah. stuck up to you. Those uh, those clicks or white girl. <laughs> oh my god, I'm well past statute limitation on this. I still remember. Remember in... Uh, did you eat lunch in the cafeterias? Every now and then. Eighth grade, I always ate lunch with Katie, JC, oh, yeah, Rainy, grade, yeah. and Casey, and all them in eighth grade, I always ate lunch with them. And I still remember I would always still patch jewelry and then give it to them as gifts. <laughs> That's a the, player move, dude. All the time. What? She had like a fucking like full on jewelry set, like a huge ass collection of jewelry. I always remember taking a piece here and there and then giving it to like JC and Katie and them. Can I have a drink? Uh, you hey. want a mixed drink? Yeah. So yeah, yeah, what do you want? I have no idea. Just you want a mojito? Maybe something cool. You want something cool? Okay. Something cool. I got you. Did they like wear that jewelry around? Like, did I you don't ever know. see that? I think one of those one of those necklaces was like a full on like fucking like pearl necklace, like an actual pearl necklace. My goodness! Did Pat ever like realize her jewelry was gone, or she was like, "I don't give a fuck, fuck that bitch." But she, like, she never came up. She was like, "No, Pat, have you seen my?" No, she had so much. My pearl necklace. Can you finish your drink of this stature? Make it like a half. I'm gonna make full. Okay. Do, do you like Kenny's cooler from Texas Roadhouse? Never had it. You're gonna love it. Is it super sweet? Uh, not really. Not super sweet. It's less sweet than this. It's a very big glass. Lot of ice, was. honestly. Oh, All right, so I need Minute Maid. Well, not Minute Maid. I got Country Time. I forgot what I need to make this. Can you hand me that phone? Guy. Huh? I'm a Minute Maid guy. I won't take it. <laughs> I kidding. had Minute Maid for this before, just kidding. but... Hey. Let's see here. I make these all... I love these. Now. Did you ever get the Country Time uh, powder? No, I never had that. What? That's like what we grew up on, dude. No, I never had that. Oh my. And then they came out with a strawberry, and it changed the game, dude. Mm -hmm. Up. We'd get the powder. Well, yeah, that's the difference too. Because if you would have had brothers and stuff, your parents would have got the thing you could make a, a million of those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, never, never had that. Yeah, I mean, you just get you a pitcher of water. And honestly, just... I never had lemonade growing up. 
<laughs> we do. We were like four growing up. I'm telling you. Oh my God, glass. Everybody had lemonade. No, we had or drinks. We had water. It's and, not like if you had lemonade, you were rich. We had water and ramen noodles. Oh, we did too. But we also had lemonade. That was it. <laughs> and my dad had his beer. <laughs> we'll pull that card with me, glass. We never, I, we, I don't ever, we couldn't afford lemonade. I don't ever remember drinking lemonade as younger, at younger ages. Uh, blue Corsau, Blue Corsau. That was. That's one thing too, though, that like we, we, me, you, Isaac, I for sure, because that's like, we like kind of, we didn't live the same life, but we, we were lived the close. same broke ass life. Yeah, we were pretty growing close up, in general. Because yeah. even when my dad did get the oil field jobs, like we were just, I think it was debt honestly like so even like he was getting this so much checks coming in you know like bigger checks but it, it was gone before we even spent it see my dad he worked three jobs for a while i remember talking with this with isaac yeah he worked three jobs for a while yeah pizza hut the state and then uh security security How's your brothers doing, by the way? I haven't seen Steven or Tristan in a while. Good, Steven's an Angelo. He's a, like a service advisor. He has like like mechanics like under him. Oh, really? Yeah, and then uh, Tristan is an Andrews and he's like doing midstream type work. Doing what? Midstream, like a pipeline. Oh, okay. Side of things. And Cito is an Andrews as well. Cito was Dude, the one I stuff. never really got to know. He was too old, man. Yeah. yeah. He was, he was, I met him, I think I only met him once. Probably. I think that was one of the reasons we went to Andrews or something. He was out of the, uh, yeah, that might have been it. It's probably one of his, uh, one of my niece's parties or something. Probably. Blue Quarter Channel, Peach Schnapps, Coconut Rum. That's it. And then Sweet and Sour already put in, and six ounces of lemonade. You're gonna love this fucking drink. Have you never had a Kenny's Cooler? This is the first thing I made when I got this little fish bowl here. I picked this up uh, two weekends ago with Isaac. Do you ever go to like Goodwill? It just, dude, they have stuff like this uh -uh. everywhere. Dude, go in that. I don't think I've ever been to a Goodwill. Really? Yeah. Are you sure you're poor then? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dude, yes, they have stuff like this. Everywhere. What kind of water you use for these uh, ice cubes? Tap. <laughs> the best. <laughs> I like a little H2S in my uh, Kenny Rogers or whatever it's called. Kenny's cooler? Yeah, that one. It's Kenny Chesney's one of Kenny Chesney's. Oh, okay. Things. Yeah, no, I take these uh, the big ice cubes and I uh, to put them in this bag and just crush them. Mm -hmm. That way I got crushed ice for later. There's a lot of ice. Like I said, I still up a majority of it. it usually takes. You're four. the professional, man. I'll drink Dude. whatever. Usually takes four ice cubes. Do you remember the shake weight you used to bring in school? <laughs> That's what that reminds me of. I was gonna ask you, when's Isaac's birthday? Mine's July 19th. This is July 28th. July 12th. So it's coming up. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna get him one of those sets for his birthday because he was shaking in like some ghetto ass shit one day. <laughs> <laughs> he was like Burn, shaking in like two very regular cups and stuff. Broke ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he would love that because he he likes the uh, amaretto sour, like tequila stuff. Oh, he so. loves amaretto sour. Yeah. There you go. Oh sweet. Oh my, that's nice presentation. <laughs> I love making drinks. I, yeah, I didn't see that from your channel. This looks like it's like poisonous. Oh, I mean, you got weak.